Hi to Chaco. Interesting game. Interesting game we have on our hands. Let's see, there's no observers. Uh, it's a best of one, I believe. Best of one, or prize of first younger. And let me tweet. Of course, I just have plenty of time to tweet overall rating, but sure. Oh, what do we have here? We have a demon hunter. No, a warden. We have a warden against a blood mage. Interesting game here. Both level three. Stealing all the mana here from the warden. The warden is hiding. And 90 mana here on the blood match 70 mana here on the warden we have an, uh, a tree of life being built over here some more hun uh, hunters hall great job warden is just hiding over here sneaky warden oh, God. Young, is there an ace in Younger? Good question, Chaco. There's no ace in Younger. Rip. Right. So, oh, what did we see there? A nice fan of nice. Thank to my stream. Tweet. Yeah, I tweeted. Okay, the warden got out somehow. Did she get blink? Where's the warden? Where did she go? Here she is. Oh, she had the staff. She didn't go blink. She has level two fan of dive. She has shadow strike here, level one, and uh, the archer and the two four soul shadow priest. They're hunting down this uh, militia the berserker as well. Where did the tree of life go? Where where was it built? Oh, it's already done. It is sitting down at the expansion while the warden is going to harass the war. She has a boost of speed. So there's still a uh, yeah uh, reprise is still tier one at the town hall getting defend oh, the warden does have not the best items here for a warden still have a little bit of extra mana oh look at these guys they're so low on hit points two of them dying there to the fan of knives but now the warden is out of mana these guys we have a four soul shadow priest healing all the peasants healing a bit of the footman as well I forgot to uh, get some water today. Guess we'll uh, cast without water. There's an Ace of Lore. There's a second Ace of Lore here. So, a much faster tech, of course, for Yange. Even though the expansion is only slightly later. Let's see how much later it is. Because the gold mine is the anti gold gold mine. Sure, it's up. There's only three peasants, uh, I mean, three wisps in the gold mine. He's uh, summoning some more mercenaries or buying them, hiring them. Ooh, what do we have here for Younger though? Uh, not Younger, Reprisal. Is he going for an attack? So Reprisal already mined uh, about 700 gold or so from it. A bit less, 650 gold. But the Warden is already level 4. The, B the Blood Mage is still level 3. Pretty close to level 4 though. Pretty close. Go for the Ancient of the War. Building towers here in the back. We have a Berserker. We have a Forest Soul Shadow Priest. Six Footman. Two Berserkers, two Forest Soul Shadow Priest, and the towers are going up. This is definitely uh, towers. <laughs> we have uh, four, four Ogres here. A lot of them are fake. Some of them are not fake. Actually, only one of them is not fake. The other ones are just fake Ogres. And here's the Warden as well. She's She has plenty of mana. As long as it doesn't get stolen by the level 2 Siphon Mana on the Blood Mage, she's running away. She wants to save her mana, but she still gets some of her mana stolen. All these footmen, they have defend. But the Ogres, well... They don't care about defense. Unfortunately, these three ogres, of course, they don't do any damage. There's another fan of knives. More than uh, 90 mana. Still get, get our mana stolen. Can you steal the mana of the warden? There it is. 
Also, it's bad spider at level one. Uses uses it on the only real ogre here. There's no mana. Oh, there is mana for dispel, but he's not using. Oh, there it is. Dispel on the banish. He kills two, three of the towers. Four, four towers going down. Just one tower up. And uh, that can easily be cancelled at any point as well. Uh, the Ancient War went down as well, though. The Warden out of mana. She's killing one more Berserker. Get saved with Banish. Uh, gets dispelled and killed. The Warden it does look pretty good here for Yanga. Don't think for a reprise of Tower is going to work. This Tower goes down as well. Uh, I'm not sure if, if Yanga really even killed any. I mean, if Reprise really killed anything. Yanga lost anything at all. I think maybe one. Uh, Forest Soul Shadow Priest, and that's about it. Uh, another Forest Soul Shadow Priest being bought here by Reprisal. Not sure what's going to do. We just have Footman here with Defend. More towers going up. This is Young uh, the Reprisal's Mud Golem. Ooh, and well. It's a little bit. Little bit. Good morning. You got underwear, and under, underwear on you yet? Yes. I did put on some underwear. I did uh, put on some clothes. Like even pants, even a shirt. I even took a shower. I haven't eaten yet. I've not, uh, I don't have any water here. Got to get any water. Uh, yeah, that's my current situation. Here come the dryads, they're killing this tower. Five dryads, five dryads. Vanish here again on the ogre again. Fan of nice with the man is being stolen from the warden. Let's see how much mana he can steal in total. Level 2 Banish now, only 60 mana, lasts longer, again, not a fan of knives. A mana potion on the Warden as well. Banishes, uh... Oh, level 5 Warden by the way, we have a level 5 Warden, level 3 fan of knives, this should be... Pretty one-sided, I think. Should be easy to defend, oh, we do have one tower up though. The tower doing a lot of damage to the Dryads. Do we see the mana potion fed of knives? There it is. Mana potion fed of knives. See footman immediately dying because fed of knives is just too much damage. Uh, mana being stolen here from the warden. Some of these towers, are they going up? Are they going up? This one will go up as well. Maybe the towers are up, although it's too late. <laughs> Has to be too late, even if the towers go up. Uh, he lost all his footman besides two. Lost, all, lost his uh, blood mage. Lost another footman. Other time. Well, we have two towers up. If we have uh, all the spirits, can just kill everything. We have a lot of bodies over here on the floor. Spirits, of course, doing a lot of piercing damage. All the towers will go down. There's a healing scroll being used here for uh, uh, Yang. Eh? And all the towers. All the building towers first because they uh, die twice as fast. This one goes up. Could have killed this one. Decide to deal with the footmen first. Footmen are a pain in the ass to deal with. Mm, some more dryads. This one can easily be killed. Why are you not targeting the dryad? Reprisal. What are you targeting? The ogre? Sure, target the ogre. So what does Reprisal have left here? He's still tier 1, are you kidding me? He's just... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, uh, he's going Footman with Blood Mage. Losing his Tower Rush. I think this game is over. Oh, there it is. I'm pretty sure there was a best of one. Let's see what game we're gonna watch next. We have CC versus 120. Is that part of the tournament? But let me see. Is 120 in the tournament? Yes, it is. We're going to uh, that game next.
Uh, hopefully this game won't be dragged out too long because this game is pretty much over. We're just waiting for it to end. I mean... Might be dragged out a little bit more because uh, because we still have 50 supply against 47 only. Here come Militia, this, this Ogre, this, this Dryad, they're both dying. Do we have bears? Do we have bears? Good question, Chaco. We don't have bears. He's going to Tree of Eternity. I still have some more mana from his Warden. Warden here uh, still has mana. Everything can still die here. And a TP out here by the Blood Mage. Hey, GG. That's of course the best one. Great, we have uh, a Lich. We have an uh, expansion for uh, going up here for uh, 120. And what the hell do we have for Shishi? We have two Ancient Wars here. We have Dark Ranger first, Naga second, level three. Dark Ranger level two Naga. Here we have level three Death Knight, level two Lich. The Lich does a lot of damage here. With the Claws of Deck plus 6, with the Claws of Haste, with the Parry out having more hit points. That Knight doesn't really have any items. Dark Raider has some bot items in the circlet. And we have Boots of Speed and Claws of Haste here on the on the Naga as well. Three Angels of Wars, they all have the armor. Nature's Blessing. And uh, some Wisp repairing them as well. One Archer goes down. Archer, another Archer. Dry it. Easy pick off there with the Fiends. We have five Fiends and an Abomination. Uh, do we have any bears or anything here for Night Elf? This is one more. That was an archer. Going for bears now. We do have uh, Angel of War being built over here. These Angel of Wars are, of course, pretty strong, but they're so slow. They can take a lot of damage. This uh, Dryad. Oh, the Dryad is stuck. Gets stabbed out. Abomination. I guess a nice uh, coil. What, what skills do we have? Level 1 silence, level 2 arrow. We have another, two more Ancient Wars coming in. I really like this by the way. I like this mass Ancient Wars. So cute. All these Ancient Wars walking around. Oh, he's killing this Wisp. The, the Wisp detonated the Abomination and again takes some damage. We have more coils. We have two more coils available and then even more because we have two statues over here. One using spirit touch. Asia war going down pretty fast here though. It wants to eat the tree, it eats a tree. Uh, abomination being focused as well. Okay, the drive being focused goes down so fast, has to be stopped out. We have six fiends and that lich. There's so much damage here for 120. And what's this? What's this? It's an APAP. The Angel of War was cancelled, probably by some ghouls. These ghouls. Uh, and now we have a hidden APAP. We have a piggy here as well. If he has a, is it, if he have, has any need for skeletons. Okay, doesn't have skeletons anymore. Neither of those have this well. So, makes sense. The piggy is now blocking the Angel of Wars. Okay, moves out of the way. In, in fact, and that kills it for him. 120 kills the piggy. And meat wagons. We have meat wagons now. They do so much damage against the drives. Do we have any bears yet? Where are the bears? There's a one bear. It is a master bear. We do have bears. So here's one bear as well. It uses a regeneration here on this drive. Meat wagon, of course, doesn't do a lot of damage against these buildings. But it does do a lot of damage against the Dryads. I wonder if he, he doesn't have disease cloud just yet. This abomination pretty low in health. We have uh, a few more coils available. Maybe he can use one over here. There is a nice coil. He can also he also has dark ritual. He can eat the abominations uh, if they're about to die. We have two two meat wagons now. We don't have any defensive towers. One of these uh, ancient wars goes to the uh, to the acolytes. One ancient wars here does go down. This abomination. Goes down as well. So the second already. I think both abominations go uh, went down. We have a burrow, but just being used to kill that uh, fiend. Most of the ancient wars have fallen here. We have a bear and one uh, one ancient war still killing the acolytes there and the ghouls. Over here we have two ancient wars and uh, heroes and some skeletons going for the fiend and the two statues. The, one of the statues still alive. One went down. 
Meanwhile, here the agent of war went down. The bear is still fighting against the acolytes, but he's dying to the spirit tower. There goes that fiend. Uh, the Naga is being focused next. And Midwag is being micro'd out here. But it does fall. We still have four fiends alive. He caught us one more alive uh, to keep it alive. And the Naga is staffed out. I guess Shishi has to retreat here. Oh no, that wasn't the Naga. Uh, a Dryad or something was staffed out. That APAP, by the way, is still standing over here. Didn't take that opportunity to walk in. Of course, it was micro and other stuff that uh, moving that APAP in wasn't the most important thing in the world. The, the bear gets Novat and killed. Now, it's just one Ace of War left. But we have uh, 59 supply for 120, 56 for Shishi. Acolyte. We have a 6 Acolyte here, building a sacrificial pit. Does he see this uh, APAP? Doesn't see the APAP. Does he see this fiend? I don't know if he sees the fiend. He does have vision of it. Come on, move your fiend. He has seven acolytes here at this expansion. And his main still has 4k gold. Building some more ghouls. Is he out of lumber? Maybe he lost uh, a few ghouls. Not sure if he did. Yeah, what well, 20 go for the counter attack here? She, she still has a 61 supply army. Uh, remember, there are no uh, Foss Worms here. There are not even destroyers. He does have the destroyer upgrade. Yeah, he's going for. Oh, going for the Entangled Goldmine here. The Abomination with uh, five fiends. And meanwhile, uh, Shishi. He killed two units. He has two skeletons. There's a TP. Do we see Shishi TPing out? He does use a nice silence here on the Lich and the, the Death Knight as well. He is level 4. The Dark Ranger is level 4, so the silence is really nice. Uh, the Fiends here. Is the, can he get the Fiend? He can't get the Fiend. The Death Knight being focused. Death Knight retreating. He still has a healing scroll. He lost that Fiend. And uh, besides that, not, nothing yet. The Bears here are slowly going down. The healing scroll being used here for his Shishi. And he stops out one, uh, one bear. This Abomination is just standing there. He's, uh, he's slowly going down now. We are, have one bear over here that's very low. It goes down. The Abomination survives with 37 hit points. And finally goes down. It turns into a skeleton. The destroyer has been morphed. Uh, eat some skeletons. And we have a TP out here for uh, Shishi. Oh, what's this? He found the APAP. Found it. Does it, he does have to live at like uh, 28 hit points, but then he kills it in the end. But both players still have their expansion up. Let's see what's the difference. We have uh, 6,500, 9,000. Do you see uh, Fost Worms? I don't see Fost Worms. I see more statues. I see more abominations. We might have more destroyers. He might creep this. But this level 4 Lich. The Death Knight is so close to level 4 or 5. Does look pretty good down for 120. Kills at the uh, shop. Ace of Wonders. He just goes out the creep. Ace is opportunity to creep this creep camp over here. We will get level 5 Death Knight. Does he have a TP? Does have a TP. So, in worst case scenario, he can TP out with uh, 3 hippos now, by the way. Hippos, great against Frost Worms, also nice against uh, Destroyers. Claws of Deck plus 9, that's the item he does want. A nice coil there on the Fiend. Why does he not pick up the Claws? He loses that Fiend. Please pick up the Claws, even with the Death Knight, is fine. That uh, second Fiend is about to die there as well. Two fiends down already. Still hasn't picked up the close of tech. Uh, one bear gets staffed out. Another hippo coming in. Uh, two of the hippos were already killed. Three of them were killed. But uh, they aren't the most important here because they're just against destroyers. This fiend, very low on hippos. He kills the fiend, kills the abominations. Where is his TP here for 120? Finally, uh, someone picked up the close of attack, but it was not 120, I believe. Or was it? 
Oh, maybe it was. Um, but uh, why does he not TP? TP's now. Very late TP here. That's not try there in the end. I, I think he should have just TP'd way earlier, way sooner. That wasn't a great fight for 120. He lost more than he killed. Dark Ranger is pretty close to level 5. Naga is pretty close to level 4. This is now doing plus 20 damage. Oh, this bear is pretty low on hit points. Nice save there. Bye, Shishi. Is he buying something? Ring of Regeneration. <laughs> Interesting buy. <laughs> Interesting item there to buy. Just to get this Death Knight back up to full hit points. I mean... I've got how, how, gold, how much gold it is, but... Like what, 325 or so, I believe? We'll give him a lot of hit points. In two minutes, uh... 240 hit points. That's the same as a healing potion. By the way, we do have a Chimera here. <laughs> Chimera. Uh, two one upgrades here for uh, for Night Elf. One zero here for Undead for 120. Uh, he stopped the bear out. The Chimera doing a lot of damage, of course, against Abominations. Much more than the Destroyers do against the bears, but only have one Chim. And we have, uh, and he keeps being wiped out of range of the Abominations here. <coughs> well, the... Well, 120 retreats with his army. All the bears have been killed or stopped out. Right now, this is looking pretty good here for uh, 120. The Chimera now being focused. He goes down pretty fast, in fact. With another one over here. Is he uh, gonna attack something? He's just hanging out. Naga goes down. Gets Frost Nova. Oh, the Death Knight. Oops. Oops. Missed the Death Knight going down there. The Death Knight di uh, got dying. Pretty big deal. A lot of XP now for Dark Ranger. He's uh, She's still far from level 6, though. If she can get level 6, Charm is going to be very nice. Where are the Chimera Roost? Or Chimera, I should call it. The Chimera Roost is over here. And here comes 120. Killing a Moonwall. To some silence, does he has level two silence, level three skeletons? Doesn't use it yet. Uh, the oh, we have six bears again. Well, one of them died already, so five bears. Uh, use scroll of the beast. I'm not sure if you want to use that or roar. I should call it. There we have a GG. One twenty beats GG. Ready to work. Work. Jobs done. Best of one. Infi for the blade. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, Blade, go for the base of Infi. We have TH observing, of course. Uh, the Archmage losing all his mana to this uh, tower, but he does have a greater mana potion. Also has two claws of attack and boots of speed here on the Archmage. Kills the tower, Arcane Tower. Infi was close by, so he's just uh, returning home. His level 3 Archmage does have as much damage. Just has uh, survival mechanisms, uh, durability. Rather than uh, DPS, uh, it does kill that Forest Soul Shadow Priest there. Well, Infi's uh, Forest Soul Shadow Priest is still alive. Not sure how many peasants he killed, but I can see two of them. So I think he killed two of them. But the songs of these footmen, are they even gonna get out of here? Well, these footmen are in trouble. Uh, Infi won't let them go for free. Or will he? Will he just let them leave it? <laughs> well, they kill one more footman. And the Archmage is just hunting down footmen here on the other side. The footmen all go out, get out of the base there, without uh, losing any. Instead, he killed, he killed more. I thought he was just, just gonna lose three footmen and not kill much more. But instead, he saved all the footmen. Instead, he killed three more footmen of Infi. The other way around, and he kills even more with the peasants. The Archmage just does, just does so much damage. The water elemental does a lot of damage as well. But it's like uh, the bad cop, good cop or something, like hot uh, fire and water. 
Archmage is the bad cop, the water elemental is the good cop. We have uh, this Archmage level 4 more XP than this Archmage of Infi. Infi is still 3 supply up though. I, I wonder why. Is that because of the Mount King? Yeah, we don't have a second hero here yet for, uh, for Blade. Did he just snipe another unit? But the Infi is 10 supply up. Why is he so far uh, up in supply? Because Blade has a lot of money and no gold, uh, no lumber. Okay, finally we see a Mount King here for Blade. Whoa, no, this is Infi. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Damn it. I did it the wrong way around. I'm sorry, guys. Blade is in the red. Infi is in the blue. You guys probably already, uh, if you were paying attention, you already understood that's what, uh, what was happening. So Envy is 10 supply ahead, doing uh, this harassment. And Blade has the Archmage with no extra damage. Gonna lose his footman. Well. That's uh, kind of a bummer. This water elemental killing this footman, uh, peasant. It doesn't look very good here for uh, Blade anymore. I mean, he has nothing really. He has an Archmage, he has a Mount King here that's buying, buying some items. He's level 2, he has one Berserker helping him. Archmage with the Water Elemental defending the base here. We have a Priest. Getting more Priests. More Priests. And what's the second hero here? It's also a Mount King and he's going for an expansion. If he's going for the expansion, picks up Gloss of Haste. The militia over here uh, just standing. Doesn't help as well. Now let's go for the Murlocs. A level 2 Mount King. Archway is still harassing. Just harassing all game long. That's what you get when you have a boots of speed and two claws of attack. Plus 15 damage. We have boots of speed on the Archmage of uh, Blade as well. And he can't, can he kill his own water elemental? He, he can't. The Mountain King here comes from the side. He's close to level 3. Not quite yet though. He needs uh, like what? 5 more XP. We'll get 5 more XP from over here. Meanwhile, the Mountain King for uh, Infi, still pretty far from level 3, level 2.2 uh, 2 or 2.3, but he will get this uh, Berserker easy peasy. We have uh, some priests here, but are they gonna do much? We have, uh, do they have Dispel even? They do have Dispel, one of them dies before any Dispel has been used. Level 3 against level 2, who wins that? Who wins that uh, fight? Level 3 Mountain King or level 2 Mountain King? The thing is... Uh, level 2 Mountain King has an army that's 20 supply bigger than a level 3 Mountain King there for Blade. Gets another uh, Stormbolt off, L another level 1 Stormbolt. Can he kill the Bla uh, Mountain King here? It's down to 25 hit points. There we have a Stormbolt on the Mountain King again. Oh, and beautiful timing there. Kills the Mountain King with that level 2 Storm or level 1 Stormbolt, I think, still. Now we have a level 3 Mountain King. Thanks for the other hosts. Lucifer, I think. Uh, the priest went down. And now the Archmage. GG. Sock first check now? Well, which one? Which game would you rather watch? Sock first check or... Um, Foggy first check, Miko. They're both Night Elf versus Human. I don't think it matters too much unless uh, unless you're a big soccer check fan. Let's see, we uh, we have a level 3 demon hunter here. We have, what do we have over here for human, for Chamiko? Uh, scroll of regeneration, we have 7 footmen here. The town hall is up. 
going to tier two to keep expansion here. Do we have expansion yet? Ancient of Wonders. I'm I'm a sock fan. Very well. The I don't even see the stock first check game. Did it just go up just right now? Oh, anyway, we have a breath of fire here. I'll, I'll stay in the game for now. I'll probably stay in this game. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see some stock games later. We have uh, the two water elementals and the arc is hunting down the first uh, berserker. First all berserker does retreat here. And uh, well, the uh, water elementals will fall though. I don't think they will kill anything. They're just giving give so much XP, but the demon hunter isn't close to level four yet. Four uh, yet. He does get the ancient of war there. Oh, and the footman they cancel the expansion there. In the back we get a zeppelin here for uh, for foggy. He also is building his tree of life. This water elemental does he have dispo yet? No dispo yet for foggy. Of course, foggy. This is his best 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 matchup, right? Foggy first night elf. I mean, he beat, he beat uh, Romantic, he beat TH, he beat, uh, he didn't beat Infi, but in, uh, in GCS, beat some pretty good human players. Of course, Chimiko, not as good as TH, not as good as Romantic, not as good as Infi, but soon he will be. There is double arcane sanctum. We have Naga second here for Jamiko. Is he going for uh, what is he going for? Towers? Does he have defend? He does have defend. This footman uses defend. Oh look at the defend. <laughs> on the on this it's like the most satisfying to defend uh, to reflect uh, an attack back from this unit, the forest or shadow priest, because it's just such a big attack. The fireball is so visible that you just see the fireball just bounce back. That's so beautiful. Of course, uh, on Dryads is much more effective. Because they just slow themselves. This guy doesn't actually actually do any extra damage to himself. The Panda is level 3. Demon Hunter is level 3. There's a Zeppelin. Also seen a workshop going up. In. Oh. Shredder has been bought here for uh, for Foggy. What is the sapling going to do? Pick up the Zerklin. Can you charm the Zerklin? If you have like a level six Dark Ranger, can you charm it? Or if you have Banshees? Wonder how much supply it would be. <laughs> he lands next to the Zerklin. The Zerklin didn't attack him. Because it's a uh, do docile, docile Zerklin. Okay, here uh, he, he drops over here. We have the Panda, use the haste, use breath of fire. A lot of damage to the footmen. The footmen are attacking the attack gold mine, but they're going down pretty fast. Next breath of fire. Okay, there's no. Well, is there going to be another breath of fire? Another haste? Doesn't have mana for another haste and breath of fire unless he steals the mana there from the archmage. Uh, if he does that though, I feel like the footman will go down. But instead, he just uses the breath of fire. All the footmen, besides uh, two of them, get saved with the zeppelin. So he lost two footmen, he cancelled that entangled gold mine. Two, right? I, oh wait, I only see yeah, two bodies. One, two. Yeah, what is uh what is this? We have two demon hunters. This one is a fake demon hunter. Always gets me with those fake demon hunters. We have boots of quad the last on this demon hunter, that's an insane item. Maybe he wants to give those uh, that intelligence items to the panda. Maybe he wants to pick up that uh, replenishment potion. Foggy, not only does he not pick up the tome, he doesn't pick the, to the replenishment potion up either. Maybe he didn't see it under the tome. Maybe he saw the tome and it's like from this angle. 
and he's like, oh, I don't like books. And so he didn't pick up the tome, but then he also left the replenishment potion below the tome. It was hidden behind it. Uh, tome of Agility, he does like to read books about uh, exercises. Archmage is gonna buy something like maybe Info Potion. Sure. We have uh, two mortar teams over here. Is he building more? Yeah, more mortar teams, more riflemen even. Oh, the Naga is like, I like reading books. I like uh, Replenishment Tome, uh, Replenishment Potion. So she picks it up instead. Two healing scrolls here for Foggy, no TP or anything, but a Chamigo's at 80 supply. Uh, Foggy only at 61, but Foggy is a tier 3, of course, has bears. There's no tier 3 here for a human, for a Chamigo. So there's more the teams that do not have fragmentation shards. They, uh, the riflemen have the upgrade for extra range, though. We have 1 0 upgrades here on the mortar teams, 1 1 on the spellbreakers, and 0 0 here on the Knight of Units. We have some illusions here as well, the big pairs. Only like a few though. How many actually? Oh, more than the this one. This one's also an illusion. This one as well. A lot of fake uh, bears actually. Very few of them are even real. The mortar teams just going for the back line. Uh, the archers, I mean the archers in the first world Berserker don't go down very fast. That uh, Shredder went down pretty fast though. He's still being used here for Chamiko. Uh, both players lost a lot already. Uh, Chamiko micro his mortar team. To uh, run away from the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is now pretty low. He's almost level 5 though. Just He needs a fraction of an uh, XP. 2 XP and he's level 5. The Shredder here for Foggy will fall. It cannot drink Moon Juice because it's a Shredder. Uh, it can only drink oil. Uh, here's a Death uh, Demon Hunter. Can he get a level 5? Easy peasy. Probably. There it is. Level 4 Panda. And well, here the Naga is still level 1. Argon is level 4. But Chamiko is knocking on the door with four mortar teams and those do so much damage against buildings. So uh, he cannot, uh, Foggy cannot let him knock the door for very long. Uh, any dryads by the way? Nope. No dryads here for Foggy. <laughs> the dryad went down so fast. The berserkers, uh, they survive of course some mortar, mortar hits as well. Uh, three berserkers, so no, nothing left with uh, unarmored for the mortar teams to really kill very uh, easily. They do go for the berserkers still. But uh, do they get any? Don't think so. We have, even have a froggy over here blocking the units. Look at this frog being so annoying. Blocking the pan, blocking the berserker. I wonder, it's, no, it's not a frog of Chamiko, but you'd almost think it'd be a Chamiko frog, but he's doing his best to help Chamiko. Maybe uh, Chamiko doesn't remember it, but when he was a child, maybe he saved the frog somewhere. And now this frog is repaying him by uh, being annoying. Foggy is 24 supply behind. Doesn't look very good here for Foggy. And this is his best matchup. I don't know, Foggy seems to be doing better offline than online. Although he plays in a lot of cups. So sometimes he does uh, decent, but anyway, we have... Um, 73 supply now against 49. The expansion is still up for Foggy, so maybe he can make a comeback somehow. These units are pretty low. Does he have another healing scroll? No. We have uh, two bears and a demon hunter and a panda fighting here. A panda is fighting against a water elemental. These, uh, this demon hunter is not killing anything by himself, even though he has this boots of call to last. These bears are not killing anything by themselves either. In fact, Nothing is dying here for Chimiko. He has rejuvenation here on this priest. So, uh, yeah, there's a frog still. Rebuilding Ancient of Wonders. Oh, now the Tree of Eternity in danger. He goes down so fast against five mortar teams with uh, two attack upgrades now. Spell breaks are still 1 1. There goes the tree, and there it is. GG. It is, I believe, the last game of best of one. The last round of best of one, yeah. Uh, the winner here of Infi vs 120, best of one, will play against Chamiko, and that's gonna be a best of three. And it's the same at the upper part of the bracket. Lin vs Sok, still best of one, and the winner will play against Yange.
interesting how uh, some players had much harder uh, uh, opponents get to the semifinals than other players. I mean, Chamiko he had to beat fast, he had to beat fly, foggy, but Yanga, Yanga just had to beat reprisal and orc worker. Which is much easier, of course. Anyway, let's focus on this game. Let's uh, change this to best of one. Or did I do that already? No. Best of one. There. Um, is it is the final best of five? I forgot. I forgot. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe I can find that information. Somewhere. See? Okay. Over here. But I can of course find that information if I just go to oh no no I found it. Yeah, finals is best of five, semi-finals is best of three, and the rest is best of one. Um any other information that's uh here no. nothing else great i saw the death knight was out of the altar so let's focus on this game now let's, i'll give it my all uh 200 dollars <laughs> let me open one more time this uh, information tab i had open doesn't say it over here we have, uh, what's our Archmage doing? He's creeping, but at the same time he's harassing. He's level 2. Um... I don't know what the price money is. Usually it's uh, on a certain amount, plus like 50% of the donations that's uh, donated to, I think, the Korean... Uh, the Korean... Stream? Uh, sometimes we also have prizes for second and third place, or maybe not third. Or do, did we? I forgot, man. It's been uh, been a few weeks. Wait, did we have Holoscope last week? I think we had Holoscope last week, but uh, uh, my memory is the memory of Goldfish. There goes a the Water Elemental. Did he get XP for that? Probably, because it did look like he just killed it with his sword. The skeleton's trying to go for the Archmage, but the Archmage has this gauntlet and the circlet, so he's never going to die, no matter how many skeletons are attacking him. The, uh, the Death Knight didn't get that other uh, Water Elemental, or he would have gotten level 3. A 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, not 3. Uh, does he get the Rock Olum? No, the Archmage gets the Rock Olum. He also gets a potion of uh, Invul, uh, which is maybe good later on. The Death Knight did get one Peon, so he's level 2. We have uh, 5. Footman, we have five, uh, not acolytes, peasants. We're gonna build a town hall. And meanwhile, we have uh, more peasants over here. Water elemental hunting down the skeleton. The skeleton walks faster, of course, than the water elemental. Move speed slow. Move speed average. Okay, one more thing I like to see in uh, Worker 3 Remastered. Instead of just having move speed fast, move speed slow, I want to see numbers. Is that something all other people would want as well? Or is it just me that wants to see all the numbers everywhere? Especially move speed, right? Like, they have damage reduction. They have a percentage of damage reduction. Why not have, like, the amount, the move speed amount? I should make a list of things I want to work with you mastered and send it to uh, Blizzard. Uh, fiends here killing this uh, this little guy, this rogue. Oh, I should mouse with the left. We uh, we have the death knight. He's very close to level three. Amount of intelligence is very nice for the lich. Oh, there's a lich. We have a slaughterhouse going up. It's going to black citadel. Not yet. Not yet. Meanwhile, the archmage. Um, so this this uh, early game going pretty well for 120. I want to say. Not sure we'll uh, <laughs> make make the list of demands exactly, exactly. Uh, this is this matchup. I'm really interested in this matchup. I want to learn this matchup uh, a bit. I mean, it's on first instance it looks pretty easy, but 
when I think about it, or it looks pretty easy from that side, like understanding the matchup that is. So I'm trying to understand how does uh, human win this matchup, but what does human have to do to win this matchup? He has uh, seven footmen here. Like I know what Undead has to do. I wonder how human can uh, win this. So he's just focusing the death knight. I know one thing, focusing the statues is very important here. Maybe he should buy boots of speed. Boots of speed and focus the statues. So yeah, Infi of course is the best human player, maybe second best, I don't know. TH uh, seems to be playing a bit worse than Infi at the moment. So I guess Infi is still the best at uh, or the best at the moment. They're almost surrounded at uh, Fiend, just as I was saying that he is the best. He shows me that he cannot even surround a simple fiend. I think he should have uh, surrounded that fiend. He, he should have uh, there was no reason, there was no excuse there for Infi. There was just a mistake there. He kills that one footman. This one footman is being micro out as well. We have a nice sentry ward here. Oh, there's a, a surround on the Lich and the footman that died. Uh, died, but he did a really surround and the Lich goes down. I think he was trying to give him an item. I'm not sure if it was uh, the TP he was trying to give or if he gave an item and was too late of using it. I don't think if he had the time to buy info potion. Actually, I don't think he bought info potion yet. Lose that fiend as well. Uh, I was just talking about if he missed this round, but it does look like 120 is not playing his the best game of his game of his life either. Losing that fiend, losing that lich. This is looking just perfect here for Infi. All these skeletons are doing nothing. Look, they're hunting down the Archmage, but Archmage does have that circle, does have that gauntlet of ogre strength. So he has 800 hit points total max. So now he now he, he took 400 damage, but he still has 400 hit points. That's the same amount of hit points as a maxed Archmage normally has, so... Roughly. So, uh... Not a big deal there for the Archmage. He's still in uh, pretty good shape. So Miko had two big upsets in this tournament. Uh, the... Wait. Oh, the Archmage used the Invo Potion. There come the Acolytes. Uh, acolyte. Why do I co keep calling these peasants acolytes and I call acolytes wisps and I call wisps uh, peons? I'm so bad with names. There goes a peasant. Do we have tier 2 yet here for uh, for Infi? He is at keep. He's building a blacksmith. He's uh, building a third tower here. Archmage here in the back. Buying a, using a heal potion. One more footman goes down, the Archmage, uh, yeah, he's going, going for another surround on the Lich. Guys, okay, by the way, the Water Elemental did a bit of damage against the statue. The more damage you do against the statues, the easier it is to hold off a destroyer rush. Or a rush? Can't really call it a rush. Well, can you call it a rush at this point? Can you, can you, is destroyer rush the official term? Uh, he finds the fiend, doesn't try to surround it, he just goes for the uh, Acolytes. We only have one slaughterhouse anyway. Actually, he lost a fiend early, so I don't even... And the lich as well, so yeah. Usually, if Undead doesn't have a good early game, they don't go destroyers. Because it's just going to be too late and too weak. You can only go for destroyers if you have... Alright, early game. Like, not uh, not You don't need a good early game, but you just cannot lose any fiends or any heroes. Then you go destroyers. If you lose anything, you have to go meat wagons. And that's what we see here, meat wagons. A lot of... Uh, well, the Eclipse walking around, the Lich and the Fiend. <sighs> They've been coming on 120. You're better than that. You're better than that 120. Maybe he's sick today. I don't know. He's, he's, this game wasn't really played very well by 120. I think he's going to lose this, in fact. Because in Fiend, besides the once around on the, on the Fiend that he missed, he's been playing pretty well. Also, that game earlier against Blade, of course, you know... If the skill level is big, the bigger it is, the more one player looks just amazing. But that game, it looked amazing for Infi. He just won that so one silently, so easy. What's he gonna buy? Oh, a Zeppelin. Wow, this is just insane, man. This is this game is already over, isn't it? Like one meat wagon. Is it gonna do anything? We have masonry upgrade level one. He's not gonna. Oh, he's forgetting masonry level two. The most important upgrade, maybe if he can still lose this game. Maybe he's not as is in a good shape as I thought he was. 
Because uh, without Masonry level 2, how are you ever going to win this game? Well, the killing all the acolytes will do well. It's a pretty good start, but he needs a masonry. Why, why, MV? Why do you betray me? This uh, uh, arcane vault went down, but we see two dead fiends. We see uh, four or five dead peons here, but he does have double the income, uh, not just double because there's no income here for 120, so he has infinite amount of the income, infinite times. The income because zero times ten is still zero. Zero times hundred is still zero. Zero times nine hundred ninety nine is still zero. We see sappers coming in. <laughs> this game, man. Why is one twenty still in this game? And zero times infinity is uh, exactly the same as two gold mining bases. Uh, but these peasants are no longer gold mining, so maybe we still have a chance here for one twenty. Lin one Wonert sock. Is that a new uh new verb? He wonert sock means that Lin won against sock. Ever heard that verb before? Uh that means we'll have Lin against uh Younger, right? In the top side of the bracket. Don't think we'll have any more uh, after this game, by the way. I don't think we have any more overlap. All the games are gonna be played separately, so that means uh, we'll be casting the same games as Back to Warcraft. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure. I was thinking maybe I should just take a break for a little bit after this game and uh, continue casting after whole scope is over. I don't know. How many viewers do I have? 21 okay well i mean if you guys want i can continue casting though maybe i should just continue casting since it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun this uh this uh this zeppelin does go down do we have any acolytes we have one acolyte one acolyte still alive i love you chaco uh we so we get to watch uh, lin for young yeah well i mean uh, let's see. Well, this game is over. Why is 120 still in this game? <laughs> Why is he still in this game? He's he's just tilting, I guess. The game has is won has been won by Infi. Even if he kills his town hall. Keep casting, please. Oh, we have acolytes. <laughs> He's building more acolytes. Do we have a comeback here for 120? If 120 makes this comeback, he's gonna be my favorite player for the rest of the year, okay? And the year lasts for like, what, three, four more months? Uh, it's, what is it, September? So we have September, October, November, and December, yeah. About four more months. He can be my favorite player for four more months. And all he has to do is win this game. Um, yeah. That's that's what I I'm putting on the line here. That's a lot to put on the line for a caster like me. Uh, he kills that water elemental with a coil. That's some more XP. Oh, the militia to go for the meat wagon. Can they get it? Can they kill the meat wagon? This uh, tunnel. Oh, he finally has masonry level two. But is he at ca he's at castle already? He should get masonry level three. Infi oh, he's getting masonry level three. Infi finally taking this game seriously. And there we have a GG. Here we have Infi first time, Miko. Ready to work. Primo is in the game. Uh, one is in the game. TH is in the game. Okay, so this is a best of three. Best of three, let me remove these others. Oh wait. Best of three, so it's core. This is gonna be such an exciting game. Chimiko versus Infi. If you guys saw Blade versus Infi, you know Infi is a beast. He's pretty good. 
By the way, I think this account name he's playing on is something like I want claws of attack. So uh, let's see if he gets the claws of attack. Let's learn some Chinese while we're waiting for the Archmages to, to come out of the altar. This last character from Infi's name here in the red, even though Infi is uh, blue, that's a claw, right? That's a hand. It could be used, I think, for human hand as well. Could be used for uh, animal hands. Kind of looks like a claw, right? With three fingers, like claw. Well, that stands for claws of attack. My uh, Warcraft 3 is in English now, so I we cannot do any more Chinese lessons. But the same character is used in claws of attack. We have more footmen, we have uh, more Archmages. There's an Archmage. Here's an Archmage. And they're both going to creep. Something. Okay, uh, Infi is going for this same creep camp as Shamiko is going for over here. Shamiko kills the mud golem. Infi as well. Now he's going for the rock golem. Look at this uh, militia at so low hit point 35. Yeah, what item did he get? Belt of giant strength. Oh, that's probably one, the worst one. The worst one, right? Is there a worse one? Let's see if there's a worse one. Belt of giant strength. They both got the worst one. Let's see, we have a Tome of Intelligence. That's a good Tome here. But Infi is just way faster creeping this. He got the uh, 16, 19, 22. Oh, not a Tome of Intelligence. Chimico got two of the best Tomes. Look at this. He has a 15, 18, 24 stats, base stats. So, uh, yeah, Infi got a Tome of Strength and a Tome of Agility. Well, Chamiko got two Tomes of uh, Intelligence, so he does so much more damage. 26 to 32, and he has so much more mana as well. He has uh, 360 mana. So far, it's going just great here for Chamiko. He also gets a close of deck. That's amazing. What did uh, Infi get over here? Infi got a Ring of Protection, not a shitty item. Infi getting all the bad items, all the bad Tomes, all the bad luck. Well, Chamiko, sure, he, is, he also got the Belt of Giant Strength. But besides that, he got all the best items, the Claws of Attack, the two Tomes of Intelligences. Uh, it's just going so nicely here for Chamiko. It looks like he's just winning this game. Easy peasy. But he's a bit behind on creeping, I think. Yeah, we already have a level 3 uh, Archmage here for, Ch for Infi. Not sure. Like, it started already with this first creep camp. I wonder why... Uh, what Chimiko did different there, why he was so slow. And here we have a, John, a God of Ogre Strength. Good for the Mountain King. It's alright for the Mountain King, yeah. Um, I still prefer some of the other items though. Uh, but he does have a God of Ogre Strength also for the Mountain King. So the Mountain King will have plus 9 strength. Uh, replenishment Potion. It's a shitty item though. That's a worse one. What about uh, Infi? Infi got Illusions. That's better than the. The one Chamiko got, replenishment potion, and the circlet is of course uh, better than the gauntlet, but it's a different uh, level item. Land Azer is also a much better uh, Archmage than Peril Spellbinder, but let's see if uh, everything is going Chamiko's way. Let's see if that's good enough. He uh, dispels some water elementals. He does have two Force of Shadow Priest, but do so does. Infi and Infi actually, uh, well, both players. No more water metals. This first shadow priest does go down. You have two footmen against five footmen, and Infi also calling some militia. No, Chamiko calling militia to help out uh, in this fight, but they have to return home already. They're already uh, expiring. There goes that first shadow priest. Doesn't look good for Chamiko's eight supply behind loses one more unit. Infi didn't even lose anything besides uh, water elementals. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm Pretty sure he had uh, one more footman, but he still has his berserker. He still has his four, two forest soul shadow priests. I think he only lost like one footman, and he killed like uh, the forest soul berserker, forest soul, two forest soul shadow priests, and two footmen. So that's uh, two, four, eight, eleven supply killed. He only lost two supply, I believe. Amico uh, just getting the better items, but not the better micro there or. Not sure, like he it seems like he had less footmen in the first place. 
And we have the expansion, by the way, for uh, Infi. Still tier 1. So Miko tagged to tier 2. So maybe we... Uh, that's why he has let less units. Because Infi just dedicated a lot of his money to the units. So he could protect his expansion. But Chamiko was tagging. And maybe that's why he had less, less units. You see the difference in XP as well. Level 4.5 against level 3.9. Dan Dazer, level 3.9. Oh, we have a fake arc match here for, for Infi, doing a lot of damage. A lot of uh, attacks of zero damage. And zero times a lot is, well, actually still zero, but he's trying. He's trying his hardest. This arc match already level 4.665, I want to say. Uh, he, the arc match will cancel this uh, show. Oh, can he get a dispel? He's attacking his own town hall just so he couldn't, uh, so he didn't. Uh, deny himself the XP there from the water elemental. So he did get the XP. He's gonna be level 5 already before we have a level 4 Archmage. I, I, I'm calling it first guys. We'll see a level 5 Archmage for Infi before we see a level 4 Archmage here for Chimiko. I'm pretty sure. Although, however, he might lose it. Oh, he lost that footman. Do I have to take back everything I said? Maybe. Let's see. He just needs one more XP. <laughs> just needs one more XP. Hopefully, no, don't get a water elemental. Come on, don't make me wrong. No, yeah, we get level five Archmage. Level five before the level four. And I was one XP off uh, of being wrong, but I was right. That's what most important to me. Uh, by the way, he didn't go Mountain King when the Panda. With the, the bottles of giant strength are, of course, good for the Panda as well. But not as good I feel like because the panda is uh, compared to the mountain king he's not attacking as much he's just walking around a bit more to get some nice breath of fires we have a lot of units here for the uh, infi he's only 20 supply ahead and he has a few hero levels ahead I mean he's pretty far ahead that's uh 26 supply for Jamiko 46 here for infi the only thing going in Chimiko's, uh, the only advantage Chimiko has is the faster attack. This is tier 2. He has a panda. And he's getting arcane sanctums. But uh, Infi has more money. He has a bigger army, more units. Um, he has higher levels. He has better items. Well, maybe not the better items. That's, that's pretty equal, the items. But uh, yeah. This is looking uh, like Infi cannot lose this game. Why is he in school? I mean, he could just use it and buy another one, but it's not available over here. I'd have to go to this one. Is Infi getting a second hero? I wonder. Maybe. Maybe. What hero is gonna get second? Level 5 Archmage, Hunting Down his Footman, Hunting Down his Priest now. Take down the Archmage now. Then there's also, of course, the one uh, advantage here for Chamiko is just uh, the name on the Archmage. It's just a better name, the Archmage. He used that heal scroll after the Breath of Fire. Also, has, he has retraining. Uh, I'm not sure why he bought it. Because... Because... Uh, Lizard is nice, but... <laughs> but right now, against a small army, the Water Elementals are better. And, uh, well, there's no Dispel even on this Priest. Maybe he's just waiting until there's uh, Dispel on the Priest. Once there is Dispel on the Priest, he will retrain. It's just that he doesn't need the, water, uh, the Blizzard. Because the army for uh, Chamiko is so small. The Blizzard is not going to do something. Besides kill Peasants. I guess it's fine against Peasants. Uh, do we have uh, Dispel yet? Yes, we do. Just massing Priest here. Uh... Amico is. Is he gonna retrain now? <laughs> Just Blizzard him, him uh, use the info potion, Blizzard him his own self. Oh, he TPs out. He tries to save the water elemental, but he doesn't save the water elemental. So that was a uh, lot of XP. I forgot how much XP level 3 water elemental gives. Level 2 gives 58. Level 3 gives more than 58. And what do we have over here? We have uh, three defensive towers. Of course, in this matchup, you don't need the masonry. Even though it's still the best best, best upgrade in the game. Uh, we have a level 1 panda for uh, for Infi as well. 60 supply against 40. Oh, the panda losing his mana. Look at the blizzard. There's a blizzard. When are we going to see GG? Some of these games today 
have been very one-sided. Even killing the Murlocs with the Blizzard and a Breath of Fire. Of course, the Panda will get be, uh, will get the XP if he kills any Murlocs. There it is, GG. What a great game we have here on our hands. Is it best of three? Yes, it's best of three. By the way, I have a very small hidden over here above my cursor. It says a, a three. It says best of three. It's not very obvious because... People always ask me, like, is it best of one, best of three, or best of whatever? But uh, you can see it over there. Job done. I wonder if they should make that a bit more. Uh, maybe I could. Uh, maybe I shouldn't make the text bigger, but just make it pop out a little bit more. Give it a little bit of a glow, maybe a white glow. Ready to work. Yeah, maybe I'll look at it uh, after the stream. <laughs> so we have Archmage here for uh, for Infi. What about Chamiko? He's also going Archmage first. Archmage against Archmage, Footman against Footman. Oh, look at these footmen, they're gonna meet in the middle of the map. Chamiko's footman was here a bit earlier. He's a bit faster with his footman. Okay, let's see if they're gonna creep the same creep. And if they are, I want to see if they creep the same way. Because last game, Infi just crept so much faster than Chamiko. It was insane. He crept like 10 times faster. Or 2 seconds faster. We have 7 uh, militia on this side. We have... I see only uh, five minutes on this side. Probably it's the same as last game. Uh, this is probably why Infi crafted faster last game because he pulled more militia. But because of that, we have more militia here at home. We have uh, no, well, only one peasant here. Well, here we have three peasants. Uh, the footman here harassed over here instead of uh, the footman here of Infi who went to the main base. We have a tower up for both players. Uh, Arcane tower already up for Infi very early. Maybe it's because he didn't see where the Archmage went. He was just scouting the main, but uh, Chamiko did scout over here. So he knew he didn't need the Archma or uh, the tower just yet. The footman now hunting down this uh, peasant. Okay, doesn't go for it. Archmage is hunting down the footman. Let's see the items. Okay, Talisman of Evasion. Not a big fan of it in this matchup. Uh, parry up, same story. It's, it's, it's the same, right? It's pretty much the same item. No extra DPS, just uh, having your heroes survive a bit longer. This matchup usually isn't so much about hero focus. Sometimes with the Mount King. In that case, do I say the parry up is better than the Talisman? Maybe. Because it's, it's mostly just Stormbolt damage, but... So against the Stormbolt, of course, the parry up is better. But against the stun... Uh, bash. Evasion is better. However, if we see pandas again. If we see pandas, neither item is, is doing anything. Because no heroes are going to be focused. Level 3 Archmage now. He, uh, he finished creeping this. This Archmage also level 3. Yeah, exactly the same hit points. We have uh, Claws of Haste. Pretty good item. Claws of Attack also pretty good. A uh, Claws of Attack adds a little bit more damage than the gl Gloss of Haste on a hero like this. On an Archmage. Level 3 Archmage that does like no damage. Because uh, Archmage on average level 3 does... 31 damage. So plus 6 damage is more than 20% uh, extra damage. Well the Gloss of Haste only uh, gives about 15% extra damage. It's still a decent item though. We have Boots of Speed here. Huh? How did he get Boots of Speed? Can you buy it from here? Oh, you can buy it from here. Okay, okay. He uh, bought it from the marketplace. We have both players going for the opponent's base. I assume he has the Arcane Tower up. Yeah, They're both still tier 1. Chamiko went for the expansion this game, by the way. Chamiko uh, in the base here trying to kill some units. But the TP home here by Infi. Amiko, is he going to TP as well? His tooth supply behind already. 
Okay, why did he lose a unit somewhere? Or is that just because of the expansion? Because he killed two peasants. Don't think he lost anything. I think he's behind because of, of the expansion. Well, uh, Infi didn't go for expansion. In fact, there's 39 against 39 supply now. Putting over here. We have a raccoon sitting over here next to the water. The Archmage buying here. Sells the shitty item. Buys this tough teleportation. Of course, another reason uh, the parry ups. Are not going to be very useful in the the evasion. It's just because sometimes, you know, a lot of the times the game's already decided before second hero is even uh, is even built. Because in this matchup they attack so late, so it's not really about the uh, hero focus at all with the Mount King or another hero. Anyway, that uh, tower went down. A lot of piercing damage, of course, kills the tower very fast. We have level four archmates. For uh, Infi, much more XP here than this level 3 Archmage, by the way. For Jaimiko. Uh, and that's, of course, because he crept the middle uh, creep camp. Uh, this uh, Berserker has to be careful. This uh, Forest Soul Shadow Priest being Michael back with too late, and he dies. This Forest Soul Shadow Priest dies as well. Beautiful stab there by the Archmage, but the Archmage is surrounded. He has a staff. That's why he was so uh, aggressive with the Archmage. He knew he had staff, he knew he could escape. Infi had 41 supply, Jaimiko 38. Archmage here for uh, Chamiko trying to snipe some of these footmen. He does have boots, he does have a parry up, kills one of the footmen. Wakes up some creeps to help him uh, fight. This spells under the water elemental. Tamiko is ahead in supply, but I believe a lot of it is just in peasants. Here come the footman. Uh, five footman, no defense for uh, Chamiko. We have defense here for Infi, but Infi, I mean, but Chamiko doesn't have any piercing damage, so no reason to use the defense. <laughs> there is some piercing damage. One for Soul Berserker. Oh, slow on the Archmage with the Mud Golem. Chamiko with the Mud Golem tries to slow surround the Archmage to uh, force, uh, well, kill, in fact, because there's no TP. If you can kill the Archmage, of course, you can defend this expansion easy peasy. Chamiko hasn't lost too much yet, but now he's gonna lose units because his units are uh, pretty low hit points. Infi tech to tier 2. Buying more mercenaries. Of course, he does have the double double the income, or it did have double the income for a little bit. He mined uh, 1,500 gold already. Now maybe he can defend this. If he, he just needs to defend this, he's one supply up. Uh, the Berserker goes down. That was a very poor position for the Berserker. We have finally level 4 Archmage here for uh, for Chamiko, but the Archmage here is already on its way to level 5. So close to level 5. He just needs 80 more XP. And in fact, he's almost tier 2, which will give him bonus XP as well. Uh, kills one uh, guy, Militia, kills the second one. Here comes a flank from Chamiko, but he walks through the Murlocs and loses the Mud Golem. Level 5 Archmage now for Infi. There's uh, only one Dispel available, so not enough to Dispel level 3 Water Elemental. There we see level 3 Water Elemental. The Archmage was surrounded, but he did have Staff of uh, Teleportation. The first Soul uh, Shadow Priest goes down. Water Elemental and a few Footmen holding the ground here for Infi. But he does retreat with the Footmen. Water Elemental going for the tower. Of course, he does so much damage to the tower. On average, he does 90 damage a shot, but 5 Peons. They can repair the tower. And that's a lot of XP. But now the Panda. Level 1 Panda comes and help uh, help Infi out. With the Breath of Fire. There it is. Infi needs to win this though. So he's 10 supply ahead. So he can. He can win this. There it is. Jamie could just GG's out. Infi wins that game. Ready to work. Best of uh, 3. Uh, the eight set score. Let's see what we have here. Zero zero. Okay, zero zero so far between Lin and Yanga. Lin is at zero. Yanga is at zero. That means we have a zero zero. Interesting. Sneaky sneaky snakes snakes. Sneaky sneaky snakes. There. On the light. Let's see. Do we get the Blade Master or do we see? Shadowhunter first, 
Maybe Lin is going Shadow Hunter first. Or TC first. Yeah, that would be amazing as well. Damn, it's just a Blade Master first. Lin with his Blade Master. What about for uh, what about Janga? Maybe we'll see a Warden first. No, it's just a Demon Hunter. Okay, Demon Hunter versus Blade Master. We have an Ancient of War over here. It's building an Archer. Then it's going to creep this. Then we'll see a Blade Master over here keeping this. Uh, scouting with the Grunt probably over here. Maybe uh, he will creep with the Grunt. Sometimes we see that as well. In a blue moon. Okay, the Archer here creeping with the Ancient of War. That's a beautiful creep uh, route here by Yange. And where's the Demon Hunter? There's the Demon Hunter. See some uh, more Wisps being built. Beautiful. Ready to twerk. What item did Demon Hunter get? The Demon Hunter, oh, actually, by the way, we see I was completely right. Scouts with the Grunts, Creeps here with the Blade Master. Demon Hunter got Gloss of Haste. Pretty good. Uh, Blade Master also got glo Gloss of Haste. Uh, much better for the Blade Master than the Demon Hunter, but it's uh, Demon Hunter is still not complaining here. Uh, we have Jubei. Jubei, the Blade Master. And we have Blood Wrath. Oh, Blood Wrath. Sounds so scary. So, I'm so scared of this Demon Hunter. Well, uh, Blade Master, Jubei is going to creep this, but look at Blood Wrath. And Jubei is scared. He is scared, but he's impressed. He's like, Blood Wrath? Fuck. Like, with a name like that. Yeah, better run. Better run and, and uh, sell. No, I already saw these items. But buy a circlet and go for the ogre. Or did he? Uh, no, didn't. Buy a circlet. Yeah. No. Uh, the archer here retreats into the main base. We only have one archer. The demon hunter is killing this uh, first tall high priest. Blade master is aiming for the archer. By the way, what? Oh no, never mind. What item did he get? Uh, Invo potion. That's the best item. Uh, Invo potion of 15 seconds means that uh, he can kill something for 15 seconds. And uh, first he starts by killing this archer without even having to use the Invo potion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey Chaco, how have you been? I've been great. I just checked back to work with stream and I definitely prefer your casting. Oh, thanks. Back to work doesn't even does not doesn't come not even close to your commentating skills. Cheers. Okay, well, I'm here. I I a uh, gear. I a uh, gear. Well, uh, we have the, the Demon Hunter level 2 with Boots of Speed. Did he buy the Boots of Speed? He got uh, Sentry Words. Sentry Words, of course. Uh, very nice item. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like my casting. Nice mana burn there on the Blade Master. Chupe. It's no mana. Oh, well. Wait, what? I thought it was a 47 mana burn. Did he use it on the Blade Master? I'm confused. Did he use it on the Null Warden? Maybe he got, uh, maybe he used, I thought he used on the Blade Master, but Blade Master has too much mana. There's no way there was a mana burn of 47 on the Blade Master, unless he just leveled up after that. Maybe that's it, yeah. Maybe that's the, that's the case. There's a 50 mana mana burn on the Blade Master. And, uh, the Demon Hunter walking into the base of Lin. Lin is going Shadow Hunter second. Are you kidding me? Shadow Hunter second. Oh, he did, did he scout this? He couldn't have scouted this, right? Maybe he knows how Yanga plays. Maybe Yanga does not play Dudes of the Talon against Orc. Um, so... Maybe that's why we see Shadowhunter. Or maybe it's just because the base is uh, closed. And he took very... Uh, very A lot of care to make sure that the no Lin units came into his base to scout his base. I don't know exactly, but Lin knows it's gonna be uh, Juice of uh, Dryads. Dryads. <laughs> I hear gear too. <laughs> Thanks. Back to Warcraft doesn't even mention the hero names. A <laughs> valuable and essential part of the game. <laughs> You're right. Talking about hero names, we have Zulkis here. And he hexes that uh, Wisp. Zulkis is uh, a very erotic uh, Shadowhunter here. What do we have for the Keeper? 
Malorn. I've never really seen this keeper before. Isn't this like uh, a name from the story? Malorn? That sounds like an official name. Not just a random name someone uh, made up. We have Sentry Wards here. Sentry Wards is just such a good item that he can keep this uh, without having to worry. Look at this uh, view. This, uh, what he sees. He sees over here. He sees everything what's happening over here. He sees this, the peon ch chopping the lumber. He sees uh, what's happening near the tavern. Probably can even look inside the tavern and uh, sees the, like in, inside those windows. Sees people drinking beer. Uh, it got the scroll of the beast though. That's the most useless item he could have gotten. That's just gonna be 200 gold. Uh, the demon hunter did get that uh, replenishment potion. Normally I say it's not very good, but since he already had the sentry wards and he uh, is low on health and mana. Well, actually, he's not using it right now. He might be able to use it later. But yeah, since Night Elf doesn't really have any uh, healing on the go, it's it's not that bad of an item here. So here we see Lin now. Let's go back to uh, Observer point of view. Uh, Lin got the Wand of the Wind. Wait, what? He crept this? Okay, he crept this. Of course, uh, Young has saw it. Wand of the Wind. But we have uh, a lot of drives here with this spell. So I think that's kind of one of the worst items he could have gotten. Even, oftentimes I say it's even good against this spell, but against Dryads. Like Dryads have the most effective this spell because they have like a lot of this spell and that they're all like single target. Right, so one of the wind, especially. Oh, he lost the Ancient of War there but while creeping. That's a bit of a waste. Also, because this is against Dryads, uh, I should reevaluate re these items a little bit. Um, Mana here on the Shadow Hunter. Not sure how important it is against the Demon Hunter. I guess actually the Demon Hunter won't get too many mana burns off on the Shadow Hunter because you have a lot of the Raiders. However, maybe uh, the Raiders use their stairs on the Dryads and you let the Shadow the Demon Hunter loose. You mana burn your Shadow Hunter, in which case the extra mana matters a little bit. Again, uh, a Medallion of Courage is one of the worst items you could have gotten there. But a bit more mana on the Shadow Hunter. And uh, Jubei, the info potion is certainly not as good uh, since he's playing against Dryads. You rather want the greater healing potion against Dryads. But uh, it's still not a bad item. What items do we have here? The Demon Hunter, uh, Belt of Giant Strength, not a great item. Wonder if he keeps it even. Two circles, great. Boots, great. Healing wards, great. Uh, cool, I never noticed that pint of beer. I mean, it's a tavern. Oh, you, this pint of beer? I think taverns... Uh, well, I guess it's not that obvious because taverns don't really exist anymore, but... I believe taverns is like a... a in, a, kind of like an inn and, and, and a, between an inn and a bar. I think it has both a bar where you can drink and you can sleep there as well, right? That's what the tavern is, I believe. Blade Master is level 4, the Keeper level 2, Demon Hunter level 3. So we do have uh, one hero level advantage on both heroes. But we have a uh, 49 supply here for Yanga, 55 for Lin, so he has a supply advantage as well. He has the item advantage slightly, I want to say. Supply advantage, hero level advantage, well now they're on equal supply. Um, unit, uh, unit advantage, let's see, we only have one Berserker with four Raiders. Not sure. Uh, Taco, do you think Lin is blind or what? Why didn't he dispel kill the sentry ward in his base? What? This one? I mean, he doesn't see sentry wards. I guess he's uh, partially blind. He doesn't see invisible units. You do know sentry wards are invisible, right? Another uh, ensnare, more ensnares. Oh, there's Entangle on the Blade Master. Blade Master has the Info Potion though. And of course, we have the Shadow Hunter with level 2 Healing Wave. There's a Healing Ward in front of his units. Interesting placement. 
Uh, easy to kill, of course. The Berserker gets in there. One Raider goes down already, though, but the Berserker goes down as well. The second Raider gets a nice healing wave. The Demon Hunter in the front now, but he can always use a healing potion. Use the Heal Scroll for now. Place another healing ward in the front again. I don't understand why he placed it in the front. But maybe because he wants to make sure that he hits, uh, hits the Demon Hunter. Uh, he could have, uh, oh no, never mind. We see uh, more dry sign there. He gets one more dry it. Demon Hunter uh, still in the front. He, had to he has used the healing potion already. He will have to use the TP next. And there is the TP. Can he kill one Raider maybe before he uh, TPs out? Uh, maybe. No, two hit points. Shadow Hunter is out of mana though. Do you think Medallion is one of the worst? Because Jubei already has a lot of courage. Uh. Well, not just Jubei. All these units for Orc have a lot of courage. Besides the Shadowhunter, of course, and that's why he has the uh, the medallion of uh, of courage on the Shadowhunter. He needs the courage, but still, it's uh, there's an overload of courage, of course, on Lin's uh, army. Uh, the the Coda did eat one dry. The Shadowhunter is almost back with a lot of mana to heal everything back to full and that should mean uh Lin well actually the shadow hunters are out of mana but the shop is almost up uh if uh maybe this is time for for uh Yang to come back but no he has to retreat right man it's just i feel like he waited too long to fight you have to attack earlier with dryads the longer the game goes just the farther you fall behind Oh, he's a coward. The metal won't help him. I thought when the demon hunter planted it, Behan was chasing. Oh, was he? Or oh, maybe he, uh, he was all tapped at the moment. Maybe he was. Uh, we're talking about the sentry ward. Maybe he was uh, doing something else. Browsing the internet. Two drives dead there. Uh, another dry dying here. The demon hunter. Uh, Blade Man has pretty long health. Oh, can he get a banner burn for before the healing wave? No, nope. banner burn of 14. These drives are all going to die. Even the guns will be able to win this fight, especially with two berserkers backing them up and a Kodo. The Kodo hasn't even eaten anything, but he's doesn't matter. Just throw the axes at the drives. I like uh, I like playing a bit more preservative with the Kodo instead of uh, going out there trying to eat units and just losing your Kodo. There it is, GG. Okay, what do we have here? Blade Master again, Grunt again, perfect. Demon Hunter, Archers. Let's see if he's going to play the same strategy. And if he is, let's see if Lin again blind blind counters it. Is he a Jubei? Never know. Never know. Well, actually, we will know. We'll know once uh, once he gets out of the altar and I click on him and we'll see his name. That's bad on the Blade Master name. Okay, I bet it's gonna be... Let's see, we have Lin playing. I think Kigami. Samuro. There we have Mr. Moonstruck saying Samuro. I think Kigami. I haven't clicked the Blade Master yet. We have Mikasa here for Neutron. Anyone else want to take any bets? We still have some other names like uh, Arashi Gates or Mogul or... Um, Mazuru. No one, no one wants a bet. A player's forces are under attack. Or get something different. Okay, I'm gonna click on the Blade Master in, in five seconds. Five, four, three, four, two, one. It's Kajin! Oh, we're all wrong. We all lose the bet. Imagine if someone would have voted on Kajent. We have Painkiller here for uh, the, Bla the Demon Hunter. Yeah, Blade Master does get the kill, but not the item. And it is uh, a Slippers of Agility here for Painkiller. He also already has a Gloss of Haste, so he has a very attack, uh, very high attack speed. Plus, uh, and I think these ki kind of stack on top of each other uh, as well. Just like I sometimes talk about the Sobi Mask on top of Extra Intelligence. These as well, I think they work the same way. First you add the extra agility. 
extra attack speed and then uh, the gloves of haste probably buff the 15% attack speed on top of that so I believe not only do they stack they they synergize very well like they stack on top of each other I'm pretty sure that's how it works but I really have to to actually just open the editor some someday and just uh, check that for to, to see if that works like that for sure uh, oh he does get a dust off on the demon hunter a blade master I mean blade master two mana Kajint painkiller has plenty of mana here we have a fight Jim his name is Jim Kajim? Kajim? Is that what you're saying? Kajim? I can call him Kajim. Kajim going for this uh, first old berserker. If, if it's gonna be another... Uh... Yeah, it's gonna be another slippers. He has his chance still. Lin is back in this game. He was about to lose there. With... Oh wait, or did he get another slippers? Or did he have the slippers already and did he get a gauntlet? No, I'm pretty sure he got slippers there. With the slippers he's back in this game because... If you're playing with a Blade Master without slippers against a Demon Hunter with slippers, you don't stand a chance. Anyway, he's uh, going for the blind counter again against the uh, dudes of the Dryads. There's a Hunter's Hole. Always thought it was Slither. <laughs> Slithers of Agility. Slithers of Agility. Blade Master healing here in the back. I'm doing a strat guide for Night Elf. I've studied this map and the strat against Orc is Alchemist Dark Ranger. Uh, one Ace of War for Talons, two Lures for Dryads and Bears, Early Expo, four Archers and two Hunters at the, at the start to prevent creep Jack. That sounds like a great strategy. <laughs> I assume you're uh, trolling, right? <laughs> Nice uh, mana burn there on the Shadow Hunter. There's two grunts only, by the way. Because he spent gold on. Well, not on a third grunt. Is Jean retarded attacking the altar? I mean, maybe if he can kill the altar and then the heroes. That's his strategy here. We have a keeper second again for again for young. I guess he just plays the same strategy every every game against orc. So even before the hunter's hole was up, he already went for a shadow hunter. Uh, there's a war mill. I mean, you might as well if you're playing against this and you're gonna blind count, blind counter. Why not just go double bestiary mass raiders? Why even go for this uh, spirit lodge? I don't know. Maybe it's just with the spirit link and the healing wave. It's just good enough anyway anyway almost surrounds the keeper there but not quite we do we have more hexes no he's out of mana we do have another mana burn there on kajim archer here in the back is being hunted down buys a berserker So the Demon Hunter with Boots, uh, oh he got a Flute of Accuracy, I wonder if he's gonna sell it, like we often seen him sell it when I have Druids uh, of the Talon, but in this case he's going to dry it, also he has a Keeper of the, of the Grove which is also a ranged hero, so it adds 10% damage, 2 damage to him as well, and he also has a Berserker, so it does seem like he uh, keeps it for now. I mean, the drives they do a lot of damage, but a lot of it comes from the poison damage. He has two armor upgrades already. He's still at 40 supply, but he already has two armor upgrades. Isn't that interesting? That's pretty interesting. That's some very fast armor upgrades. Getting more drives. Doesn't even bother with an attack upgrade because uh, it's just a poison that does the damage here. A greater uh, poison, greater healing. Pretty good item there. In this matchup, in this uh, situation, a wisp just scouting here. The shadow hunter still loved. Who we have Zora Jazz, by the way, and uh, B a, B a blade master finally level three. I'm sh I wonder he's, if he's gonna get level two critical strike here. Probably should. 
No, he's a big level 2 Windwalk. Because he's planning to creep a little bit more with Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter is not level 3 yet, so he needs to buy extra time. Those are worth the Blade Master, killing the troll. Oh, there's the oh, Blade Master and troll, but does he have an info potion? He does have an info potion. He will have to use it though. Although it was not a dust, it was a reveal there. So, uh. Oh, and he missed that second reveal. So, 100 gold wasted here before Yange on two reveals. He did uh, do a little bit of damage to the Blade Master. A bit. Uh, did you know that potential can be retarded? For instance, I think Painkiller's potential is retarded. Here's the proof. Retarded potential. Read it right now. Electrodynamics, the retarded potentials are the electromagnetic potentials for the electromagnetic field generated by time vary varying electric current. Okay, well, I'm not going to read much more of that, but okay. I'll keep it in mind when I'm casting this game. We have uh, the Raiders now going for the, the Dryad, of course. With Kodo eats a Dryad, so tasty. Why is he not focusing Kodo? Of course, because he was still focusing the Raider. Uh, the Dryad dies. The Force of Berserker also dies. This Raider might die as well. Uh, Mana Burn there on the Shadow Hunter for 33. The, both the Raiders are pretty low. So if he can kill both Raiders, he can micro. Um, oh, but we have two ra more Raiders out. Not sure where uh, one of those raiders came from. The other one came from the Raider Factory, also known as Bestiary. Uh, the Kodo is still sated with the Dryad. We have four Dryads, but we still have two Raiders. The Shadow Hunter is out of mana, though. Uh, Demon Hunter is uh, fighting a fake Blade Master. Another Dryad goes down. Another Dryad goes down. Uh, Yanga just 36 supply and GG. It's best of five. Infi versus Lin. There it is, best of five. Beautiful, beautiful game we have here on our hands. We have uh, Infi versus Lin on Twisted Meadows, in fact. And Lin has the good spot. Infi, of course, has the worst spot. I wonder if Lin is going for the creep jab or if he's going to creep this. I don't know. He can do either. He has the he has the best spot in that it's the easy spot to creep this, but he also has the best spot in that Infi has the worst spot in that Infi, if he creeps this, it's very easy for Lin to creep check him. If Infi ever wants to expand, uh, he won't expand over here. He has to expand over here, which means you know, it's harder to creep this. Well, the distance isn't that much longer to this creep uh, to this gold mine than this one, but. I mean, it's uh, the the laboratory is a bit farther away then from its expansion. That was, Chaco is a killing machine. That was more brutal than one twenty for the Infi and NSL. Well, I don't. Uh, I tried to to hold myself back a little bit because killing all those snakes is a little bit. Uh, you know, I feel like sorry for the other players, right? I don't want them to stop playing and then I only play against bots. So I, I have to let them live now and then. But sometimes I just get angry and I just eat them all and just kill them all. Oh, uh, let's bet on the BM. I bet Mikasa. Okay, this time I'm going for... Uh, yeah, I think this time we have our Rashi Cage. Any other bets? Oh, Blin, by the way, did go for the creep. He's not going for the rest. We have Boost of Quad last here for Nila's Arc Canister, uh, which is like the worst item for human. Any other bets? We have Mikasa for Neutron. I I said uh, Arashi Cage. We have, oh, it's, I already moused over it. We have Jubei. Jubei, the Blade Master. So, no Mikasa, no Arashi Cage. Jubei, of course, very solid Blade Master. Sobi Mask, decent. It's uh, decent. Much better than the Boots of Quartalas on the Archmage. Oh, he doesn't know this is where Orc is, I believe. Or does he? He already scouted it a little bit with the Footman, but... Well, he's just stealing these creeps from Orc, I guess. This is going to be uh, more difficult later for the Shadowhunter to creep. Master, what Atoma is he gonna get? Agility would be nice, XP would be nice, strength, ah, all right. And here comes Nilas. Nilas, 
What is he gonna kill here? He's going for the grunt, he's going for the burrow, he's going for the everything. He's going for the grunt now. Um, probably for the burrow. Once that grunt walks away, this uh, peon here. Another peon, footman. Slowly dying there. For Infi. This burrow, man, taking so much damage. The blade match was just so far away. The grunt being focused. He walks away with five peons here, repairing here with three footmen, killing this, uh, this burrow here. It's just a level two Archimedes. It's not like a level five or seven or 12. Just level two. This footman survives as well. Of course, speed scroll being used here so he can kill the footman easy peasy. And this footman as well is also going to die. So two dead footmen here. But he did, uh, Infi did do quite some damage there. Like Lin has uh, lost some lumber, lost some a little bit of gold as well. Let's bet on whether or not it's going to be a towerish. I'd say yes. Take a sneak preview. A player's forces are under attack. I don't know, probably, <laughs> but I don't know. The Archmage, uh, the Water Elemental, will give him 42 more XP. They match level 2.5. Archmage is on his way to creep something again. He's already level 3, by the way. He crept this in the meantime with some uh, militia while he was killing the Burrow. Archmage is level 3. Infi is so good at this game, man. Infi is so good. Infi is almost as good as life. He's almost as good as 120. He's, in fact, better than both of them. Okay. Infi, <laughs> Infi I think... Um, Right now, I think Infi is just the best player in the world, you know? And you're right, Neutron. There's the Lumber Mill. Oh, and this beast here in the worst position I've ever seen it. Right next to the Footman. But the Footman, they don't go in yet. Shadowhunter is being summoned. Uh, but now the beast here is going to be cancelled. The Blade Master is going for the farm. The farm will be up in time. The Lumber Mill is up. Do we have uh, more footmen? Yes. Look at this bestiary. Is he going for the bestiary or the lumber mill? He's going for the bestiary. It does get cancelled. The shadow hunter has to be. Uh... Oh, I mean, he defends by himself. Okay. Lin is best orc at the moment, right? Um, the thing is, Lin just came back, and so I don't think so. I mean. Fly, well, it's kind of hard to say because Fly is playing really bad at the moment. The focus is never very reliable. Uh, I want to say probably if Lin gets back into shape, he's uh, probably the best orc. But right now, I uh, can't say that for sure. Because we have seen him lose against some uh, suboptimal players as well. But, uh, I mean, some players that he shouldn't really be losing to. And if Fly gets back into shape as well, he, he might, you know, it might still be a toss up between Lin and Fly. Anyway, the the Blade Master level two still only. Maybe give that Sobi Mask to the Shadow Hunter, but the Shadow Hunter only has hacks, and he's full mana, so don't need to give it to the Shadow Hunter just yet. We have a Beast Master second, by the way, with piggies. Uh, he can summon one more piggy. Where's the piggy? There's a piggy. The burrow goes down. One piggy here in the back. Where are the militia? No militia yet. What's over here, by the way? Is that the footman? That's the footman. Archmage in the back, he's a bunny. I'm not sure why he hacks the Archmage. Did he uh, save something? Don't think so. Maybe just the uh, highest D DPS here for a human is the uh, Archmage, so that's why he uh, hacks it. Has a close of attack, so he does a lot of damage. This is the last burrow. The last burrow will fall here for sure. Or will it fall for sure? It won't, because he's tar changed target to the Grunt. He will kill the Grunt for sure. The Beastmaster will for sure also die for sure. Let me uh, say a few more for sure, because I'm pretty sure that uh, the Beastmaster died there. We have finally level 3 Blade Master. The Archmage is... Uh, well, he has to be careful here. Level 3 Blade Master. He doesn't matter for more. Oh, he kills the Archmage. And that is actually uh, pretty much a comeback here for Lin. Actually, uh, I thought he was losing. He was losing. He pretty much lost the game there. Until he killed that Archmage. Like, killing the Beastmaster wasn't even a big deal yet. But killing that Archmage. Suddenly, uh, Lin is in the driver's seat again. Well, driver's seat may be a big word. Because he still doesn't have any burrows. And he's still losing this burrow to the uh, to the units. Well, uh, Infi already has his tier 2 up. He has double arcane sanctum. Lin doesn't have any tier 2. Well, he has one beast area. Okay, he has a beast area. But no spirit lodge. And uh, no units either for Lin. If he didn't kill the Archmage, this game was GG. 
Lim could have, might as well just GG out of the game if the Archmage just TP'd out safely. But now we have a comeback opportunity for Lin. Still want to say uh, if he has the advantage though. 8 supply advantage. And the tier 2, two buildings, all, all the tier 2 buildings are up. Are you sure he's the best? Don't you want to reconsider? No, I'm pretty sure Infi is the best. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider about the best player in the world? No, no, Infi is the best. Why, why do I need to reconsider? Like, is there anyone even close as good as Infi? I mean, not 120, not TH, not not happy well happy i guess does does cons does consistently beat him uh infi yeah maybe i'll reconsider but well let's see infi beats all the top orcs infi beats um all the top other top other humans infi beats all the top Night Elves, right? Um, life beat... I'm not sure against Life. Uh, he beat Foggy. So I guess he beats, uh, beats the top Night Elves. I don't know which Night Elves are particularly good against Human. Oh, we have Blade Master. Only on that, so like, he doesn't really beat uh, Happy consistently. Also, 120 he loses to sometimes. Taktikoi. Chaco? Chaco, I'm really getting upset. Are you sure? I think you've got another player. Yeah, are we talking about life? Or are we talking about someone else? Are we talking about... I mean, Notron. Oh, are we talking about Notron? <laughs> oh, yeah. Notron, of course. Notron is... Uh, a pretty good player. But I'm not sure if he's as good as Infi. Like, Notron might be as good as 120. Uh, is he as good as the Infi? Well, one tower going up here. Can he defend here? He has two headhunters and a Kodo. The Kodo can eat anything uh, like a footman or... Oh, the Raider surrounded, by the way. The Raider surrounded by peasants. And that means the death of the Raider. Uh, the Kodo, what's going to eat? It's going to eat a peasant, a footman or a water elemental. Uh, well, drink a water elemental, I mean. Uh, the Kodo ate nothing. The peasants are dying one for one. Actually, Lin is uh, doing just fine here. 42 supply against 40. Lin has supply advantage. He kills one more footman. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe Lin is the best player, and it isn't Infi. Lin is beating Infi here. The Blade Mage is pretty low though, but he does have an Info Potion and a Healing Scroll and a level two Shadow Hunter, who is almost level three. Infi has to retreat. Infi should probably just uh, go to uh, change his strategy to an expansion type of strategy. At this point, Saimiko or uh, Sok would do that, and they would win the game. But Infi will never do that. He will always just push through with the towers. Even if it doesn't look like he has a chance anymore with the towers. He just tries to push through anyway and lose the game. Lost lost the Beastmaster there. The Zeppelin was too far behind. And by the way, the, the Zeppelin is very good against Orc. People think like, okay, you can't use it against Orc because of the Raiders. No, that's not true, because if they ensnare your Zeppelin, they don't ensnare your other units, your heroes, your other your things. There, he kills that uh, priest. Kills the Zeppelin, okay. But he did have uh, two Headhunters and a Kodo. They killed the Zeppelin, of course. This doesn't look very good for Infi. He's gonna lose his uh, Archmage and GG. What do we have here? Fire Lord Towers. Fire Lord Towers. Against... <laughs> can can turn a sharp one big, yeah, exactly. Uh, but we have a fire or towers here. Infi against Lin. Or are we gonna see some other kind of hero towers? How about a Tinker Towers? I want to see Tinker Towers. Or uh, a pit lord towers, that would be so nice. Alchemist towers, anything. I'm I'm fine with anything. We have footman. What is Lin going to do? Okay, let's start by uh, looking at Lin's base. Can he hold the fire lord towers? This bureau is horribly placed. Uh, 
Uh, Abed's gonna build the second burrow over there, and I'm gonna tell him one more time that he places the second burrow very badly as well. This one should be one down and one to the left. It should be here. Right? Because now we don't have units, no org unit can pass through here, here, no org unit can pass through here. Well, the human footman, they can pass through there and through here. Well, if you move it one down and one to the left, your, your heroes, your grunts, your demolishers can just move freely, just like the footman can. Uh, the shop is fine. Those creep. Oh, we have Kigami. Sorry, I didn't uh, guess what hero it was, but I guessed Kigami. Oh, I'm right. It's Kigami. And the Fire Lord, it's a uh, card ever burning. That's bad on BM. I say Kigami Mikasa. You can also bet two names. <laughs> it's not fair if you bet two names, but you did get it. Just like I did. So this time we both got it. Isn't that amazing? Neutron. Last two times neither of us got it, but this time we both got it. Here is the Fire Lord Towers, here are the Militia... The, what? They're ensnared. Not sure uh, why they are ensnared, but he's going for this burrow, and I was, as I was saying, this position is really bad for this burrow, even if he gets it up. Uh, but it goes down. And whoa, 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 this burrow... Can he kill the Fire Lord? He blocks it with the Grunt, and now with the Peons, the Fire Lord was maybe trying uh, a bit too much. He dies before the second lava spawn. This is just absolutely beautiful here for uh, for uh, Lin. And now he's hunting down his footman, but his footman is going to die later. Maybe Peon could kill it. The Peon did kill it. That Peon got the kill. And the Blade Master killing these peasants over here. This tower is never going up either. But we do have the lava spawn now in two. Uh, the Grunt's going to die. The, the is a Fire Lord almost back yet. Halfway back. He kills one more burrow. Uh, well, the blade master couldn't just kill everything like slowly but surely. While well, the footman, okay, now they're going for the blade master, but the blade master already level two. It's Kigami. He kills uh, one more peasant and one more peasant and uh, and one more peasant and GG. He's going with the fire lord towers again. Ready to work. Another short. G oh, it's close position though. Close position. What does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean the tower is going to be more effective or less effective or what? It does mean that uh, Lin can scout for it much earlier. Let's bet again. I bet Kigami Jubei. Well, I bet... Um, I bet Mogul. Mogul Sly. The Blade Master that everyone hates. What Fire Lord are we gonna get? Unfortunately, I don't really remember any of the Fire Lord names. Is uh, is is he gonna scout for it? Is Lin gonna scout for it? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe with this peon. Doesn't scout close position, uh, but we see a close position scout here. Another fire lord, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, if he sometimes get, sometimes he starts tilting and then he. Uh... Oh, we've all seen it before. All seen before where he tilts and he GG's out very early. Just a fire lord rush over and over again. Over and over and over again. Maybe you'll pick the uh, alchemist this game. Tell the burning. Oh, he did go for the fire lord. He got smolder us. No, uh, kill the burning. Smolder us. Didn't even know there was a uh, fire lord called smolder us. Okay, and uh, well, this burrow again. Same same thing as last game, by the way. It's a pretty bad position. He just starts creeping. Gets one shot in with the lava spawn. So he just needs 13 more shots. Goes for this shot maybe. This time he doesn't just walk in with the fire lord like he did last game. Uh, well, the blade master, what is he going for? Why is this footman so far in the back? This footman could probably move somewhere better. Blade master kills one uh, peasant. But now he's fighting against four footmen and a fire lord. 
Fire Lord summons another lava spawn. This lava, this lava spawn is getting hits in as well. Uh, this peasant here is dead. He's so dead. There it goes. This grunt might be surrounded. No, he goes for the fire uh, blade master. And uh, well, the lava spawn is not sure how many hits they got in. I didn't count them, but this lava spawn is almost uh, out of time. So he should just hunt down peons, see if he can still multiply before he uh, expires. He might be still be able to. He's almost. Oh no, don't attack the burrow lava spawn. I think you only need uh, like two or three more attacks. There he attacks a peon. I was just, was just one more attack. And does he regenerate in time? Does it? Yes, just in time. Beautiful there are Infi, although uh, it was a bit of luck there to just uh, multiply there at the last microsecond. And now it's four lava spawns there in the base. The Fire Lord running away from the Blade Master. The Grunt uh, getting surrounded by Footman while the peasant survives. Most of the lava spawns have been killed, but they did uh, do a little bit of damage. We have one Arcane Town, Arcane Tower up, two Guard Towers going up. Fire Lord on the way back. What are these new peasants going to build? Are they going to build an Arcane Vault yet, or do you need more towers first? He is getting defend. We do have a uh, Wormill going up here for, for Lin. Two burrows up as well. Joshua, by the way, I forgot to mention the hero here is Joshua. No Jubei, no Kigami. No, what did I say again? Mogul, no Mogul to slide. Joshua. The shop went down. Now the burrow, this burrow in trouble. Blade Master going for uh, something. And. Beautiful Michael there on the footman. The footman uses defend. Only the footman that's being targeted uses it to defend. Goes for another tower here in a very close range. I wonder if it's range of the watchtower or if only the watchtower tower is in range of the scout tower. That would be the worst placement ever. But now he's going to cancel the scout tower, so it doesn't even matter. This peasant peon thing dies to the fire lord. Uh, this footman is still alive, but the grunt is going to kill him. The grunt kills that footman. Without any mercy, these footmen, by the way, they can get, uh, peons can get easily killed. We have the demolisher out, so the fire lord's hunting down the demolisher. Now he's hunting down this grunt. This grunt is going to die here for sure. And he, I think he might have died to the tower there. We have 115 uh, XP here on the fire lord, uh, which. What is. What's 115 XP? Three, three peons is 75. And. No, he got the turtle as well, right? He got the turtle. Not sure exactly how we got this XP, but we have one demolisher up. And we have uh, peons chopping the lumber. That's about it. These towers are, of course, out of range of the main. What else do we see here? We have rain! It's raining here in the Netherlands. Not that rare of a sight, but it is uh, pretty exciting. Good man. Gonna retreat in time. No! Should have used defend there at the last moment. But not good enough micro there for Infi. He, does, he will get the demolisher. He will get this uh, burrow as well. The, the the thing, the fire lord is going to die though. He could maybe survive for a few more seconds. The peons, we just have two peons and the burrow attacking the fire lord, but he TP's out. The militia, are they gonna TP with him? It does seem like he, they will. What? Lava spawn? What is he still doing here? How did he not TP? I guess he just uh, multiplied. He didn't count as a unit, he was just flying in the air. He didn't TP home. We have a watchtower being built over here. We have uh, more demolishers being uh, trained. Are they trained or created or what? Doesn't make sense to, to train them. Well, you do train demolishers. Being trained is not being uh, constructed or anything. I believe meat wagons you do create. You don't train meat wagons, but demolishers. I guess there's peons inside them. Need to train them how to uh, use the demolisher. More towers being built. The fire lord is level one. Goes for this watchtower. We don't have the uh, spikes, bar spike barricades. Man, they don't do damage to themselves. The war mill even goes down. So no more demolishers. No, well, he has two more in the queue, but no more uh, watchtowers. No spike barricades ever. And after these two demolishers, no more demolishers. But he's building another war mill. 
Do we see an upgrade on these towers or do we not see an upgrade on these towers? Because I do not see an upgrade on these towers, but maybe some of you do see the upgrades on these towers. I see flags. I never noticed these flags on top of the towers. That's pretty cute. Oh, but here he comes in again. Comfort demolishers. Two demolishers out. Two demolishers usually uh, enough to slowly kill towers. But usually you want three. But he's gonna lose one. I'm gonna lose one demolisher here pretty fast. And uh, one, of course, one demolisher is not really good enough to really out out DPS the regeneration, the the repair of the peasant. This burrow going down as well. There's just two burrows left. Oh, this meat wagon is in trouble. He's surrounded. He's not surrounded. He's kind of surrounded. He's surrounded, and he's going to die here. And, and smaller S might get level two here finally. There it is, level two smaller S, and he's gonna pick Soulburn maybe. I oh, lose one more footman. That is Soulburn. They match is getting more passes. I wonder if we're gonna see another uh, Fire Lord Tower Rush in game four. That would be exciting. He uses a scroll of regeneration. We just have one demolisher. We still have this uh, footman over here doing damage. Two peons in the burrows here, one over there. We don't have, uh, we didn't build too many more peons. 41 supply here for Infi, 25 for Lin. I don't think so. I think he got me. Goes into the demolisher himself and sees through the process. Oh, he, he trains the, the the lumber itself. Is that what you're saying? The wood moves by itself. We don't see any other units. There goes the demolisher, and we have uh, no GG just yet. So it's our broken fire lord tower is low. It works even for isn't the best worker three orc in history. Just a footman. I have a theory, smaller ass means burning ass. Smaller ass? You can call him smaller ass. Uh, yeah, this game is pretty much over. Not sure, we're just waiting for Lin to leave. Well, he does have his war mill back up. Maybe you can, uh... yeah, GG. We do have a normal mountain king, a mountain king, so no fire or towers. So again, this, uh, I don't know why Lin makes these bases, but as you can see over here, this is blocked off, this is blocked off, but the footman can just run, walk, uh, they can walk by. So I think the bases of Lin are just very bad against Orc. That's one of the reasons he, he's been losing those, uh, or he lost that last game against fire or towers or one of the many reasons. Getting grunt. Okay, what are what? <laughs> no wrong. That's bad again. I'd say Kigami, Kajin, Mikasa. You can also guess three names. Eventually, you're gonna be like, yeah, you can also guess twelve names, and then there are twelve Blade Master names. But I am going for uh, a Rushy case again. Kajint! Oh my god, Neutron! You were right, I was wrong. Guess I owe you a lot of money now. And Kajint, he got the Gloss of Haste. Meanwhile, the Mountain King creeping over here. Did he scout the Mountain King yet? At least he, uh, let's see what he scouted. Lin, what did he scout? Nothing. At least he knows there's no Fire Lord Towers coming this game. We have Mountain King. I told you, go for three names. No fair if you guess three names. We have uh, a Linehorn of Stormwind here for the Mountain King. One of the worst items he could have gotten. Especially because it's so useless early game. Or I mean, it's better later game. It's not that there are only three names. Well,. I don't know. We've only seen uh, three, four games, and we all, we've only seen three games, uh, three names, I think. Because didn't he get Kajin before as well? Oh, do we have an expansion here? Of course, maybe. Actually, he's going to keep, so maybe not. Maybe he's just creeping with these guys. Infi, uh, yeah, he doesn't have lumber to build an expansion. 
just creeping with the militia, pretending to be expanding. Blade master wakes up the creep. Do we have a dust? No dust. Blade master can kill the militia or one of the trolls. Kills one of the trolls. Gets level two. Did, did, did he get both of them? I think he got both of them. Hunter king didn't get a single kill there. Blade master got all the creeps. Look at the items. They're very similar. They both have a close of haste and a circlet. Uh, did the blade master steal the item as well? Got the circlet there. He got the close of haste there. I think the mountain king got the circlet. What item did orc get by the way? Lin. Not sentry words. Or did the mountain? No. Yeah, the blade master looking for this expansion, but there's no expansion. So Mount King first, no expansion. We've seen one player do this before, and he almost beat like top or player. But there was an, uh, I think it was Blade. I think it was Blade against Focus or something on uh, Turtle Rock sometime, a long time ago, two weeks ago. He almost won that game with Mount King first, no expansion. Blade master. Wakes up the Murlocs, but gets storm bolted. He has, he has dust on the Blade Master. But the Mount King couldn't buy it. Did he get a creep as well? I should pay better attention here. 550 XP here on the Mount King. 404 on the Blade Master. He might have gotten it. Do you remember those two bastard peons? I still dream about this poor forest tool some nights. I, I'm trying to forget, man. I'm trying to forget those peons. I mean, I'd see them here every game. I try to uh, suppress those memories. Still on the second, great. Blade Master first, great. Mount King, what's he gonna do next? Does he have defense? No. Is he going for towers? He's going for blacksmith and a blood mage and militia. He's going to. What's he doing here with these militia? He's gonna creep this maybe, or is he. Okay, he's fighting the Blade Master. One militia, very long hit points. Uh, and he micros it out. It will go home safely. This militia as well. Nice micro there. He's buying some time as well while doing this. The Shadow Hunter crept some creeps. Mountain King now go for this burrow. Does he have defend? No defend, but he can kill that peasant. Peasant goes down. These footmen are kind of stuck or not uh, really getting in the right position, but now they do. Uh, there goes the burrow and the peon dying as well. Two peons dead already, and the mountain king TP's out. He lost the first little shadow priest though. Kills two peons in the burrow. Lin is supply stuck and he doesn't have lumber. Oh, actually, he still has quite some lumber. He doesn't have lumber peons. Blood May second, we have rifleman. A peon, another peon dying there. Third peon dying in a matter of a uh, minute. We have uh, four lumber peons left. He's not rebuilding them. He's slowly gonna fall behind in lumber. Look, Lin only has 63 lumber. Did he get the upgrades yet? Doesn't have the berserker uh, upgrade for, this, uh, for the guns. Berserker strength. It's 150 lumber. That's a lot of lumber. Uh, especially if he's getting these uh, spirit walkers and raiders as well. Oh, the blade master! I didn't realize he was uh, visible here. And he gets a bash. He's very long hit points. Healing potion, not enough there. Do we have towers? We do have towers. Dust it. The, the footman just cancelled the healing self. Shadow hunter over here. Blade Master is out of healing salves. The shop got killed. Does the Shadow Hunter have healing self? He reads the tome. He does have one healing self. It has a Blade Master's name on it, but the Blade Master is just going to die to the Mount King. Oh no, he don't, did get that healing potion off just in time. He's still alive. There's one tower is going up. Another storm will there on the Blade Master. The Shadow Hunter is too far from the Blade Master to uh, really save him. He does have level. He does have a healing wave available. We have a chicken mountain king. And this rifleman is going to die though. So is this raider though. And the mountain king just so much mana. Thanks to that shadow hunter. Not shadow hunter. Thanks to that uh, siphon mana. 
that the Hunter Cult is here with Blood Mage. The Raider finally dies. But now there's no more ensnare, and now the Blade Master losing the last of his mana. 30 mana here on the Blood Mage. Can he steal some mana from. Well, the Shadow Hunter is out of mana. Plus the Blade Master. Not much mana left to steal here with the Blood Mage. Still has plenty of mana to give. We have a shop up. Arcane Vault for more clarities or healing scrolls or regeneration scrolls. These uh, two footmen they should probably hide in the back while he's killing this grunt. A bone raider with 43 supplier for Lin, 46 here for uh, Infi. And here we have another uh, fight, a nice stormbolt there on the grunt. The grunt's probably gonna fall at some point. It did some damage to the blade master as well. There the grunt dies, so did that uh, footman. We have one raider. And stormbolt there on the spirit walker. That goes down. The blade master in trouble. Can he save himself? No way. The blade master is going to die for sure. I want to say, yeah, for sure is exactly what I said. We have a level four mountain king. We're now with. Level 2 Bash does so much uh, bashes. Look at that first bash. Immediately after he picks level 2 Bash, he bashes. That's uh, just the destiny of someone that picks Bash. This uh, Raider dying almost to the Peasants. But oh, there is another nice Bash. Bash is just so good. Especially on uh, Grunts and and Blade Masters and Raiders and Spirit Walkers. There's a second Arcane Tower. We have a rifleman. He's just he didn't build the uh, arcane sanctum. Interestingly enough, just went for rifleman with the arcane towers. And he killed his altar before the uh, the late master comes back before Kajint. No, GG. Let me tell you, it's gonna be. First of all, we have an archmage here for Infi. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Uh, second of all, it's not gonna be Kigami. It's not gonna be Mikasa, and it's not going to be Jupe. This game, and you hear it here first, we, we are gonna get Mazu. Mazu, the Blade Master. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Mazu. Mazu, show me your Mazu. Come on, Mazu, get out of the altar. I wanna show everyone how good I am at calling the hero. Mazu, I miss you, Mazu. Dude, come on. Come on, Mizzou. Come on, please be Mizzou, please. I don't want to be wrong one more time. I've been wrong every time, okay? I want I want you to be Mizzou. Chube, damn it. Again. Again. No John knew exactly which hero it was. He knew it was Jube. And I just... I thought it was Mizzou. This is like the third time he gets Jube. This is uh, best of five. This is not fair. He deserved Mizuru this game, not Jubei. Ring of Protection, that's what you get, Lin. Worst item in the game. That's what you get for getting Jubei. Instead of Mizuru. Archmage also gets Ring of Protection. Not as bad on the Archmage, but the uh, Mental Protection is very good. I told you, go for three. <laughs> Why you struggle? Well. It's not fair if I go for 3. It doesn't sound very confident if I go for 3. Like, hey, it could be either Mizu, or Ashikage, or Mogul. That, that just doesn't... I don't feel like... You don't feel my confidence. It feels like I'm just... Uh, trying, I'm, like I'm just guessing, you know? I'm not guessing. I'm a professional... I'm a professionaler. Professionaler? Something we have a uh, metal intelligence by the way on the blade master. It's gonna be great for the shadow hunter later. Pretty good item, not as good as the slippers, but pretty good. Shadow hunter, uh, I mean, archmage. First the mantle was very good, but then the slippers not that good. But at least the blade master didn't get the slippers. Sells the slippers, keeps the ring of protection, buys the boots. The footmen are being hunted down by the blade master. Blade master by the way, level two, but archmage almost level three. Can he get a level three archmage? He just has to kill this uh, last forest hole. If he can get that kill, he will get level 3 and he will win the game for sure. Is there anything else he can kill? Maybe this level 1 over here. Not if he's gonna die to the creeps. Just took a lot of damage for no reason. Summoned the water elemental just to get that level 3. 
just barely doesn't get level 3 in time, I believe. Well, I mean, actually, he might still get it in time to cancel the tier 2 buildings. What am I saying? He gets it plenty in time. But maybe this footman will fall here. This, well, when is it level up? There it is. The water elemental was used just for the level 3. But here we have the water elemental. But is this too early? Nothing to do here right now. Just three burrows up. There's no Beastmaster, so I don't think he should go for the burrows there. Okay, Blade Master does not have the boots, but the Archmage does have the boots, so. Trying to get the Water Elemental. So much XP. So much damage as well. The frog in the way. Blade Master is being focused. Where is the Beastmaster? Where is he? Beastmaster. Not yet. Not yet. Almost. He's almost at keep. He's almost there. Can he buy a Beastmaster? There's that's a Beastmaster. Is that a Beastmaster or what? That's a piggy. That's a piggy. The grunts are what are they going to buy? Not a Shadow Hunter because he's bought at the altar. We have uh, water elementals, we have piggies, we have blade masters, and we have tier two that can be cancelled. And another one, but this burrow is being protected by the peons. He's going for the burrow. There's the Shadow Hunter, but let's see how many heroes we'll lose here. Oh, he's going for the Spirit Lords. Archmage retreats. Beautiful retreat there. The piggy. Beautiful position there by the piggy. Make sure that none of the Orc units can get in there. One footman uh, dying. He's dead. We will get to cancel the Spirit Lords. Or no, actually he won't. Will he kill it? He really killed it. He's going to lose his Beastmaster. Does he have mana for more piggies? Does have a uh, woo if he survives. Oh, but the peon here at a beautiful position. TP's out with the Beastmaster. Only lost uh, one footman, but didn't do a lot of damage. Because the Spirit Lodge didn't go down. The Burrow didn't go down. Spirit on hit points though. Wormel's gone up. Anyone wanted to see those uh, those footman from close up? This is your, your moment. Actually, this, this one that, I mean, peons. This peon is repairing. You can really see it in his face. Guild is just uh, killing innocent trolls. Even in his face. Wormel going up. Well, if he's creeping a little bit. Well, he's healing, of course. Well, his Beastmaster is healing. healing. And there come the militia. Does he have a healing potion, perhaps? He's just going with a low hit point Beastmaster. He can always be healed up during the fight. Shadowhunter is creeping. And here come the Archmage and the Beastmaster. Plenty of mana or some mana. At least for one more Water Elemental, for one more Piggy. In fact, two more Piggies should be no problem. Three more Piggies, also no problem is he, if he survives, but he's down to 300 hit points. Goes for this Burrow. This Burrow is just an easy kill. Easy peasy kill. There goes the Burrow. What's he going for next? The, the shop? I mean. Shop seems to be a very likely next target. By the way, there was Infi sent toward. We have two militia coming in. One of them dying already on the way. Another one dies. And where are the towers? There is a tower very far in the back. I don't like it this far back. This is so far. Maybe the first one is fine, but the second, the second, and third should probably be in the range of the main and the, at least the barracks. Uh, there goes the piggy. We have two water elementals and a piggy here still le left. We don't have this spell, I believe. No, not yet. He's getting a death right now. So these water elementals and piggies, they can just be bunched up. There's another sources. Uh, one footman went down. We have some fake uh, grunts and blade masters here. This grunt is being focused. The piggy should be micro. Uh, can if you micro the piggy, he cannot. He's he's not good enough to micro the piggy. Uh, the piggy actually isn't being focused anymore. It goes for the beast master. Both pig is pretty low. If there was a dispel, there would be such a nice dispel, but he doesn't have dispel. Uh, this footman might be in trouble as well. Okay, let's get out. Not sure if Infi killed anything so far yet. Don't think so. We have a level 2 Shadow Hunter, but he's kind of out of mana. He still has one more healing wave pretty soon, and then he has that mana potion still. Meanwhile, here we have uh, Infi fighting peons. While uh, Lin is killing the towers. One tower went up actually. Of course, doing a lot of damage against these uh, spirit walkers. All these peons dying. They're even uh, the damage that they receive. They even spread among the other orc units. So 
But all the peasants have been killed. There's only one alive. He's sending more though. I think those are peasants. Are those peasants? No, those are priests. Same more priests. Uh, this water elemental does go down. We have uh, no more water elemental anytime soon. There wasn't. But the, all the spirit walkers have been killed. So no more spirit link. No more. That other spell. Uh, this spell. We have a Kodo out though. And also we have plenty more healing waves. And he's almost level 3. There's level 3. Now nothing will ever die for Orc. Except for the grunts. Because... You know, if the grunt goes to the front line, they will uh, die so fast against the magic damage. The Kodo tried to eat something, but why not slow the Kodo? Uh, he should really slow the Kodo and just kill it. Uh, there's a speed scroll. The Kodo gets that priest. Uh, the grunt, by the way, nine hit points surviving. Surviving grunt. Gives him a nice healing self. We have 41 supply for Infi. 39, um, I mean, 39 for Infi. 41 here for Lin. But Lin has uh, some hurt units, and Envy units are all full health. But this priest is going to die here on the retreat. Envy retreats, loses a priest. He's uh, behind in XP, isn't he? He's a uh, level behind on the Beastmaster. Besides that, he has a level 3 Archmage as well. Oh, this. Sorceress was being blocked by the priest, but the, the raiders don't find them anyway. Bladebasher finishes this creep. Let's see what item he gets. What item does he want? Illusions or... Plansman potion? Not really. Okay, the Raiders did find the human army. Really needs to level 3 uh, Beastmaster, but... Here comes a fight. Bladebasher going to kill this, this uh, sorceress. Oh, she does. Can, can she be Maiko? Where's the Maiko? I guess she uh, was Maiko just fine. Just, uh, no, she goes down. I think she could have been, uh, might have been further to the back of the army. This grunt, as I was saying, the grunt dies so fast against six sorceresses. They all do double damage against grunt, so, uh, like 22 damage in attack. Times six is a lot of damage in attack, so. The grunts, he should be probably focusing the grunts. It's easy kills there. There goes the water elemental. Uh, no more mana here for infield. Either of the heroes is... Uh, oh, the raiders are slowed in the back, so they cannot really ensnare anything. They're too far away. There's a speed scroll used by uh, Lin. Does he have mana on Shadowhunter? He still has that mana potion, so yes. I'm not sure why... Uh, I'm not sure if Infi even wants to push forward here, but... Oh, he bought a clarity and bought another one for the Beastmaster. He needs that mana. Uh, but I, d I don't like this for Infi too much. Can do I like this? What is this? Uh, healing scroll here for the Blade Master. He's going for the sources. The sources will die for sure. He drops down the mantle of intelligence, use the mana potion. 171 mana. Uh, so we still have two more healing waves. So if he wants to win this fight, he needs to survive those two healing waves without losing too much. And uh, while well, the Blade Master is killing the Spellbreaker, this Grunt survives. There's one healing wave. Uh, there goes that Spellbreaker. What else is going to kill? Did uh, Kodo eat the spell, eat spell break as well? I'm not sure when it eat it for uh, when that was, but uh, Blade Mask killing the next spell breaker. This grunt surviving and, and, and this one, the grunt's just surviving. The grunt survive. Where's the Shadow Hunter? Oh, he was out of mana. He went all the way back home to buy the mana. Very smart there by Lin. He just you now he knows. As long as he has the mana on the Shadow Hunter, he's gonna win this game easy peasy. Another good was killed there. And uh, he retreats, sacrificing the Spellbreaker, maybe even more. The Raiders, oh, we have two Raiders uh, flanking the human army here. There's no retreat here for, for Infi. I think he just, uh, he's two supply behind, but... Only two supply behind, but I do think he's going to lose. How much mana do we have on Mr. Shadowhunter? Plenty of mana. So much mana. Over 300 now. Thanks to the clarity. And there he gets uh, and stare on the Beastmaster. He's going to kill the Beastmaster. That's going to be GG. Lin wins the Hulse Cup. 3-2-2. Two, two. Congratulations to Lin for uh, winning like the first cup he joins after he comes back from retirement or retirement from uh, a break because he, he broke his hand and he immediately wins Hulse Cup. There we got it. Lin 3 over Infi. 2.